How's it going guys? I am back once again with this game Dome Keeper, which I've been playing and enjoy quite a bit. To explain the game to you, the Steam description, which is where you get this game, it's currently only on Steam on PC. Uh, the description says, defend against waves of alien attackers in this innovative roguelike survival miner. Dig for resources and choose from powerful upgrade paths. Is there enough time to mine a little deeper and get back to defend before the monsters attack your dome? So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get as deep as possible and I'm very good at that, so that's why we're going to be playing Dome Keeper again today. Now, there's different modes to the game. Uh, you have Prestige Mode, which I've unlocked, but I still haven't completed the regular game, which is just the regular Relic Hunt. Um, so I want to show you that. Um, you have different domes that you can have. Laser Dome, Sword Dome... Tesla Dome, Artillery Dome, there's all these different domes. Um, I tend to just play with the Laser Dome. Uh, you can have different pets as you go. I, I use the cat. And so like I said, there's Relic Mode and there's Prestige Mode. Prestige is for leaderboards and all that. And I definitely want to get to doing Prestige Mode and unlock all the different um, modes in Prestige Mode, which you get by you know collecting um, gems and stuff on the planet, but we'll, we'll get to that. Right now I'm going to do the Relic Hunt, which is where you find an artifact buried deep within the earth of this planet. So that's what we're going to do. And so what I want to try to do is do You Asked For It and Huge. Um, so that's what we're going to do. It's the hardest difficulty that there is, so I want to attempt to do that, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to lose, but that's okay. I'm okay with losing, but we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a shot, so let's get this going. How you, going, how you doing, guys? The chat's here. I'm very obsessed with this game, and don't worry. I won't play this game forever, but right now, in this little pocket of time that we're in right now. I'm very obsessed with this game, so I've been playing a lot of this game. Uh, but, you know, we will, we will move on to other games eventually. But right now, I'm all about this Dome Keeper game. Now, if you want to play this yourself, uh, right now it's available on it's a, uh, PC, Steam, all that. I'm sure at some point it's going to come to consoles and everything. Uh, but right now it's only available on uh, PC. But that said, they're still working on the game. They're going to be adding multiplayer and other stuff like that, you know, probably other domes and things, hopefully. So I think it's okay that it's not on console yet, but I'm sure eventually, at some point, it'll probably come to Switch. So it'll probably be down the line. But if you do have a PC and you do, or maybe a Steam Deck or something, you can, you know, pick up this game because I think it's really cool. So there you go. There's our little introduction. So I want to explain the game again for people, you know, this is the beginning of the stream for people that don't know what's going on here. So I'm this little guy going around. Uh, this is sort of a combination game. If you want to think about uh, uh, missile defense. Uh, hang on a second. I gotta run back up here. I'm just gonna drop these so I can get in here. Hang on a second. Missile command, I meant to say. Give me one second, let me get rid of this guy. I have to defend the base. All right, so I got rid of him. Okay, so what I meant to say, uh, missile command combined with dig dug, combined with maybe a little Minecraft. If you were to combine all those games together, you would have uh, this game, which is Dome Keeper. And basically there's the dome, right? And then you go down into the mine and you look for materials. You look for iron, you look for water, and you look for uh, cobalt. And those are displayed by different um, shapes. So cobalt is triangle, iron is square, and the water is circle, okay? And right here, this is water. So that's like the water element. Th those uh, those are the water element, and that purple there, that's the co that's the cobalt. Okay. So you take you're taking all the stuff. You're bringing it back to the base. 
you're putting it in the base, and then with that, you're able to build things. So I go to my upgrades, and there's all these different things that you can build and you know put your resources into to make your dome stronger and stronger because you want your dome to be strong you want your dome to be rigid you want your dome to be big and powerful you know what i mean guys i think you know what i'm trying to say um so that's what that's what you're doing all right, so then this mode, this is where we're fighting. So I rush back to the top, and then the enemies come out, and the game looks like the old um, Super Nintendo game, Out of This World. And so the enemies are going to come out, and so I hit LB, and then now I'm in battle. I'm doing this, I'm moving this around, and I'm fighting these monsters with my laser. Bring this over here, and... Zap them away, and then okay, so that mode's over. It makes a little noise, and so that you know it's finished, and then you continue on. All right, so that's the basic gist of the game. And then the goal, at least in this mode, um, the goal of the game. Uh, well, there's two different goals depending on the mode. The mode that I'm playing right now is the relic hunt, where we're looking for the relic, we're looking for the artifact, whatever you, you want to call it, and once you get that and bring it back to your dome, then you win, and that's relic mode. The other mode, which is prestige mode, is where you're bringing materials back to the dome, and the more materials you bring back, that's the prestige mode, uh, the more materials you bring back, the higher your score will get and the higher you'll be on the leaderboard. So that's that's the other that's the other mode of the game. So I'm gonna bring all this stuff back. So that my thing is splashing down there, which means the monsters are coming. They're on the way. So I'm gonna go back into battle again here. Get rid of these guys. Now I'll tell you what all the different uh, elements do. Cobalt heals your base. So there's like cracks in the dome, right? So you use the cobalt to heal the cracks in the dome. You use the iron to buy stuff. You use the water. Wa water and co and uh, iron together usually tends to be stuff like, like this. Like you need like this, let's say like this shield. You need iron and water in order to build that shield, right? Then there's other things like just your, let's say, just your engineer himself, just your guy. You only need iron to upgrade that. So you can upgrade your drill. You can upgrade your speed. You can upgrade your carry strength. Carry strength meaning how much stuff can you carry out of that mine you know, without being weighed down, speed is just speed. Drill strength is how strong your drill drills in to the earth. So that kind of thing. Um, so, and as you can see right here, I have four. If you look in the bottom right, I have four in my inventory of the iron. So I can buy a little bit of that. So I just bought a little bit of that. And as you go, you just get stronger and stronger and stronger. But as you get stronger, the waves of enemies get stronger. But you, during that time, you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into this tunnel, and hopefully you'll find the relic before the enemies destroy your dome. All right? That is the general idea of, of the game. So, And then there's different methods to mining. So one thing you probably want to do is mine directly down into the earth like this, like directly down from your base. Um, or your your dome your dome itself. So you like want to build a, a trench going down. But then the other thing is every like three like one that's one two three. So like every four like this, I'm sort of building out tunnels this way because there are uh, blocks or pockets of gadgets that you can get. And if you can build your trenches, whatever you want to call it, uh, in in a sort of concise manner, then you won't miss these extra gadgets that are down here uh, for you to find. And you want to be able to get that, get that stuff because there's a lot of cool gadgets that you can get that are going to help you along the way. Like, for example, the, uh, uh, the Prospector, which helps you find all these different minerals that you want to, that you want to have. All right, so I gotta get back into this. Okay, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to see if I can upgrade. By the way, when I'm like in this mode, 
I'm not being attacked right now. It's paused. I'm like safe to look at what I'm doing. And that's a great mechanic. If you were getting attacked while this was going on, this game wouldn't even work. So that was very you know, smart of them to make it that way. Now, right now, there's not really much I can do. I'm going to upgrade these like lasers next. This is the laser on my dome. I'll do that, but I don't have the material for it yet. So I guess kind of have to make it through this wave. So I'm going to just uh, do that. Here. Hopefully, I don't get destroyed already. So, you can see how cracked my base is. So, what is the. How do I deal with that? Well, right here, um, this is the repair. So, I can do the repair. So, I can click uh, that and it will repair my base a little bit. Then the other thing is that there's there's base health. You can get the strength of the base higher. Um, this right here is the inventory management and that has automated dome repair. And I'm gonna do that right now. That way, if my base gets near the point that it's going to be destroyed or something, the base will now automatically use some of the cobalt in my bank of ore, whatever you want to call it, to save the base from being destroyed. So that's a that's a really good thing to get is that inventory management thing. Another thing I really want is this hostile pro proximity meter because that's going once I click that that's going to add another meter to the bottom left and you're going to see that right now. I'm going to hit the button and check this out in the bottom left. So that just added that other meter. What that does is that shows you the next wave so the waves are you know it's like a tower defense game where the next wave comes and the next wave comes and all that so the uh, the meter there that's in the bottom left next to the little space invader looking guy the little like alien enemy guy that meter is going to tell me how long I have to get out of that tunnel to get back and fight those enemies so so I have that. So the next thing I really want to do is not die when I come back here and fight again, because you see my base was already getting messed up. I'm going to need to up my movement speed and my power on my laser. So that's the next thing I'm going to want to try to do. All right. So one, two, three. Now we're going we're gonna to go this way. Your heart goes out to the 49er fans. You guys got robbed. I don't know what that is, but uh, what I know about... The one thing I know about, like, 49ers, right, that was, like, a term that had to do with the uh, gold rush, right? Wasn't it? There was, like, the the, for, the, for, the 49ers and all, all that, like, back in, like, the gold rush era. Is that what they were, like, named from? Um... I'm more a fan of the gold rush. I, I know more. I, I know more about that. Um, and in this game, this game is all about mining as well. So I have no idea about the team, but I'm all about those gold rush 49ers in 1849. Because today apparently was the uh, wasn't it the World Series today? So. Everybody's talking about the, the 49ers or whatever. I don't know anything about that. But if you want to talk about old cowboy movies and the gold rush era, I'm your guy. Does anybody... Who, who remembers Gabby Hayes? Anybody? Okay. When was the last time Gabby Hayes got mentioned on Twitch? Somebody figure that out and send me an email and let me know because I'd really like to know. Thanks. one cobalt here. Alright, I need a couple more. The next thing I want to do is uh, I want to do, I definitely want to do these. Have I seen Treasure of the Sahara Madre? I have. Those are the kind of movies I like. I lo Exactly. Like, I, I like that. I like old movies from the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, um, 60s, 70s, 80s. <laughs> Once you probably, once you get to about, I don't know, once you get to the 2000s, I start to lose interest. Actually, honestly, I like silent stuff, too. So, like, I like old movies. 
very much. And that's that's what I watch when I watch stuff usually. Not that I don't watch modern stuff. I do a little bit, but not very often. Um, because I tend to um, be very repulsed <laughs> by modern media. Um, I like to go back prior, usually prior to like, yeah. You know, honestly, to be real with it, like really, like I like to watch stuff from like the '60s and prior, real, like really, like like you know, kind of ending on the Twilight Zone and Star Trek and everything before that. I'm all I'm all about the old movies. I like that whole era better than anything that you know exists. But you know, some of my favorite movies though are from the '80s. Like I love you know the Back to the Future trilogy and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna get the Spire. I think the Spire is really good. It helps. It helps a lot. So that Spire is right there. It's gonna take out like. Uh, oh, hang on a second. These, these guys are back already. All right. So here we go. This is the missile command part, right? Hang on a second. Do you remember when you were trying to do TMNT RAF only, no sub weapons, and you died to the jetpack ninja outside Shredder's door? The 49ers loss was like that. Oh, you're trying to make it make sense to me? So basically, it was something that was really bad. Okay. I don't know. It's just not, I don't know. It's not my thing. I don't really know anything about it. But Treasure of the Sahara Madre, absolutely. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. I actually should re-watch it. Uh, we know my, Mike loves modern Disney movies. I don't. Um... I don't mind. I, I'll tell you what, though. The first, like, Frozen was probably the last one. I was like, okay, uh, that's, that's like, fine. I mean, there's things about it I don't like, but, like, that was the last one I feel like was, like, the last, like, one that was, like, all right. But, like, uh, so as far as, like, more modern ones, I'm, like, okay with Frozen. It's, like, fine. But, like, really, though, before, the, even before that, I feel like... I don't know. I think, like, Tarzan, that was probably, like, the last, like, good one, right? Because they had their whole, like, renaissance era in the, like, it was, like, mid-80s to, I don't know, mid to late 90s, like, like in there. It was, like, this renaissance era. And then they, start, they started to really just drop off the cliff and come out with things like, it was, like, Atlantis and, like, uh like home on the range and this kind of stuff and then they just like completely fell apart I don't know I guess I guess that year of, of guys like retired or something like, I don't know what happened but so they, that, they call that the renaissance but you know then they had their original era of like their classic movie you know you had your like Pinocchio and Cinderella and like Alice in Wonderland and all that stuff and I've always been more about the old old stuff but that said I've never really been as much into the feature films as I I would rather watch the old Disney shorts than watch any of the features. I like the shorts better. But even more so than that, I'd rather read the comics than watch the shorts. So as far as, like, Disney goes, it's just, like, I'm, I'll just read the comics and I'm good. I'll read the old Floyd Gopperts and stuff and the old Carl Bark stuff, and I could just stop there and I'm good. But then maybe if I go beyond that, like, I'll watch some of the shorts and stuff. I'm like, that's where I am with, like, Disney stuff. And, like, I've, I've seen, like, the feature films, but, like, I don't need to watch... Pinocchio, like, a hundred times. Like, I've seen it, it's good, but, like, I'd rather look at, like, other, like, the, I'd rather watch one of their shorts from the 30s or 40s or something. I'm more interested in that. I have all those, uh, like, old Disney treasure sets, and those are, those are great. I, I love the, the Mickey cartoons from the 1930s and, and all that stuff. Damn. Yeah, I just got wrecked. Out of cobalt already. That's great. And this guy's still alive, isn't he? But I do have cobalt that I can grab right down here. So again, I might very well like lose this. And that's fine. That's just how, how it goes. I mean, so one thing you should know, this is a hard game. If you try it yourself, realize some of the rounds you're going to lose. This is a roguelike. 
So if you know anything about the roguelike genre, you know that it, they can be very... It's a very punishing genre. So that's the thing. You might look at this and be like, oh, I want to try this game. Don't forget about the point that this this is this is a roguelike or roguelite, whatever. Um... So, that, so it's a little bit tough. You die, you're going to lose all your progress, and you're going to have to do all this again. The only thing you get is, like, you'll if you, if you do win a round, you will unlock a new mode. But when you go to that mode, you're basically starting from square one. And some people like doing that, and some people don't like doing that. And that's just one of the things about the roguelike genre. Some people really, some people really do not like roguelikes. I do. Um, but I understand not liking them, and they, they've become very, you know, popular over the last, you know, ten years or so. And I, you know, I, I grew up in with the, you know, Atari and arcade and NES and you know all that, and that kind of stuff didn't wasn't quite as prevalent back then. Although, you know, people people have said to me that they feel like like Fester's Quest and some games that, that were back then were like were like roguelikes. Um, which I guess, you know, in some ways... I think we had some games that were a little like that, but most games back then weren't really, like, roguelikes. And now there's a lot of these type of games, and I think some people feel like they wish there weren't so many, because I think some people wanted to kind of just go back to what it was. This is something that's become more prevalent over the years that I've gotten into, um, and if you don't like roguelikes... You know that's fine. I happen to like them. I like that they're challenging and punish. I like that they're punishing, and that that aspect of it reminds me of the way old school games were. Like the, those old arcade games and stuff. Of course, that you know, and people will say like, oh, well, that's because they were trying to get your money and um, you know go into the arcades and get you to spend your money. And you know, that's probably true. But we grew up in that era, and I liked video games that were punishing, and I feel like the roguelikes are usually pretty punishing, so I th- I feel that they have an old school um, sort of uh, feeling to them, you know? So hang, uh, let's, can I upgrade anything right now? I still don't have enough uh, money to upgrade yet, so I'm a little bit in trouble here. Oof. So this is what the iron looks like. Oh, and I just found there's some kind of... This is going to be a thing that takes water. So I'm going to bring some of this back. I could put a piece of that water into that. So now I have something I can work on here. And there's more water over there. Here, can I get... See, I can get speed or I can get strength. I guess I'm going to start with strength. I'll get the strength, I'll do the speed next, and then I should be hopefully all right. Let me heal this a little bit more. I really need, do I have enough? I don't have enough for that. I'll do one more there. I know I'm just like spending all my cobalt, but not the greatest start so far. But that's about as much as I can do at the moment. Roguelikes are the vast minority of games nowadays. Vast minority? People who don't like it can play 99% of the other stuff that isn't roguelikes. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. There's so many games that aren't roguelikes. It is it is really true. You could probably make... I wonder how many there are. You could probably make a list of, like, a, like what, a hundred of them or something. But how many video games are there? A billion, you know? 
Mike, do you still collect retro games? I get that question a lot. I, I do. Um, I just bought, uh, a few, like, semi-recently, I bought uh, a physical copy of uh, Metal Stoker on PC Engine. When I find a game now that, like, I really just, I want to own a physical, then I get it. Because it's like, if I, li- if I like, like the game for some reason, it could even be a bad game. Like, there may be, maybe there's, like, a, some bad game that I, like, want to own, whatever. It just, like, if I, like, want it, if I want to have a physical of something, then I will. I didn't used to be like that. I used to be, like... I just buy anything. I, I, I used to be one of those people that was like, I want every NES game. I want every Atari game. I want every Super Nintendo game. And I don't have that feeling anymore. I don't want every Super Nintendo game. I don't want every single Sega Genesis game. Because, like, Super Nintendo, like, there's so many games that I just don't care about and don't, like, like. Um, but there's, a, you know, there's the really good Super Nintendo games that I, that I absolutely love that, yes, if I love it, I want a physical of it. Like, let's say Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. I love it. I will have a physical of Super Mario Kart, you know? So if I love it, I want it, and I like it, then I'll have it. Otherwise, I don't really need it. Like, I don't need, uh, what's some crappy, like, Super Nintendo game that I don't care about, you know? Like, maybe I'd have, like, Lester the Unlikely, because I find that to be, like, funny, so maybe that would be a funny one to own. But I don't need, like, some sports you know, like, I don't need NFL on Super Nintendo or something like that. So that's, like, my mindset with it. Like, I have to, like, care about it and, like, want it for, you know, like it. So I do collect physicals if, if I'm, like, into it for some reason. Okay. So again, my power was up a little bit. I am the keeper of the dome. Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu, I just don't really care. I just don't, I don't really find it that funny. Um, I just don't really care. I don't, I'm kind of over it with some of these, like, some of these, like, bad games. It's like plumbers don't wear ties. I just don't really care. Um, you know, I remember, I remember doing that AVGN episode. That was right at the same time that we did um, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, because that was something that took us, like, a while to film and everything. And we were working on that and we thought that that would be like a pretty decent one and it turned out that the plumbers don't wear ties one we sat we sat and we recorded the plumbers don't wear ties thing and i was like i don't know is anybody gonna care like nobody knows what this is back then nobody like knew what it was and i was like i don't know it's kind of funny or whatever so we sat there we took the notes and everything we wrote it down we tried to make the best thing we could just like any other episode and then um that came out and people like loved it and I've always heard I go to conventions and things like that and people have always said like oh that's my favorite episode a lot of people think that that's their favorite episode or find it to be like the funniest and when we were recording it I I felt like it was going to be one of the ones where people were going to be like eh I don't really like that one very much I thought it was going to be not a very good one but people ended up liking that so you know I you know I would have not thought that people were going to have that be one of the episodes that they really felt was, like, one of the best episodes. So that, that definitely came as a surprise to me, like, later on as people, you know, would tell us what episodes they, like, really, they really liked a lot. So I was, I was surprised by that. But, you know, you never know. But I do remember sitting there and watching, watching that game and all the, all the video clips and whatever. Sitting there recording that and taking the notes and everything. All right, so, uh, let's see. I want this. I'm going to do the movement speed. Most people have bad taste. Um, I just didn't know if it would, like, come off, like, funny or anything. I didn't know. I'm not saying that that's a bad, uh, take to say that that's, like, a good episode or something. Like, it's fine. If you think it is, that's, that's totally valid and fine. I was just surprised. I didn't think anybody would care. Shit. I gotta get back quick. Maybe I better get movement speed. Go, 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 go. I didn't get back quick enough. At all. I'm gonna take these guys out. God. It's not going too hot, is it? 
If I don't heal, it's gonna be over. Oh, I don't have anything to heal. Uh oh, can I do this? Oh, oh god. I couldn't heal it anyway. I might lose right now. All right, I'm gonna take that thing. All right, maybe I'll be all right. Wow, this is going really bad. All right, yikes. Well, if I can get all this stuff back. You wish there was more TMNT hacks? I do too. I really wish some people would make more of them. I love playing. You know how like there's like a million Mega Man hacks and there's a million Zelda hacks and all that. There's like there's like one or two like TMNT one hacks, and I wish so much some like people would. Some of these people that are like really good at making these like hacks, I really wish there be there was more of them. Or you know what would be even better? Here's what I really want. I want somebody to make a program to make it easy to make TMNT hacks. The hack world, the NES hack world, that's what the, that world needs, the hack community. They need more people making the programs to make it easy to make the hacks. That is what needs to happen, seriously. So like the big, the big games, like Castlevania, I'm cr it's unbelievable that Castlevania doesn't, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden, you know, some at least some of those like big ones. There, there should be programs to like good programs to make it like relatively easy for these people that do hacks to like be able to make them so that we could have more of them. That is something like somebody should work on instead of just making your own NES hack. Make the program. That's what the world needs. Then we could then we could all have a lot more of these hacks. You know. All right, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna get the dome hole hardening, I think, right? Harden the dome hole to take. Le no, I'm like totally out of the cobalt. I'm gonna get the cobalt. I did it. I got the cobalt. So if you are, if you, you know, you guys are into retro video games. If you're into retro video games and you know people that make NES hacks, or you make NES hacks yourself, or whatever, tell them, tell the hack community this. That's because that's the, what needs to happen, I think. You know, that's the, that would be much more important than just making another Mario hack or something. Like, you know, work on a program. Oh boy, I'm in a lot of trouble here, okay. Oh, I only had one cobalt? I thought I had more than that. It's gonna end. It ended. All right, that went really badly. Well, as I said, it's not an easy game. Don't smash. You always point out this, but there is a perfectly great Jackal level editor available. So, there is a Jackal level editor. So if you are a person who wants to hack NES games, we have plenty Mega Man ones. We have plenty Mario ones. There are more than enough out there. Use that Jackal level editor and make more Jackal hacks. The level editors out there, make it. Do it. You're into, you know, the idea of making ROM hacks and stuff. Use that and make, make us some. Alright, so I'm going to have to try this again. You see a hack, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles returned in New York. Yeah, yeah, but is that one that's like on PC? Or I'm talking about ones that you can run on an NES. The ones I always play, 99% of the times are, there's, there's these like people making NES games where you can play and whatever, like retro type games that are, you know, that use a PC to play them. But then there's people that make hacks where you can put them on an EverDrive and play them on a real NES and play them on a CRT. Those are the ones I like to play because I like to play my retro games on a CRT. That's what I'm talking about. So it's two kind of it's two different worlds there. 
All right, so again, I'm trying to... Oh, no wonder that was so hard. I mean, I'm on you ask for it. Maybe I should do Brutal first. Have I ever done Brutal and Huge? I don't know if I ever even beat that. I don't remember what I've done before. Let's do Brutal and Huge. Mike has particular tastes. Yeah, I do. Oh, I beat... I did beat Brutal and Huge? Oh, never mind. Wait. You tried... You did try... Try you ask for a small... Oh, okay, wait, wait. I already beat Brutal Huge, so hold on. I didn't realize I did that before. They're telling me, so hang on a second. Let's do... All right, we're going to do the hardest setting. You ask for it. You know, instead of making it huge, let's do... I do small? I don't know if I've ever beaten anything when you ask for it, so let's just do the smallest. Actually. Brutal on huge was how you got you asked for a difficulty. Oh, that makes sense. I forgot what the reward was. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> totally forgot. You are right about that. Good point. Brutal and huge. That's how we like it. Ah. Somebody was working on a Blaster Master PC port with quality of life improvements, but you kind of wish it was on NES. Oh, was it like a PC one? What is the object of this game? Oh, you, but you're putting like a little face in there. So is that is that a real is that a real question or is that? Are you just joking? Because I mean, I already explained it in the be. I I tried to do a, an elaborate explanation in the beginning of this for you. on this game thanks a lot boxy brown I, did you did you find it from my streams there's no text on the screen for you to not read you're having bad runs of the game I mean, me too. It's hard. That's that's what I'm saying. It's like I like this game. It's fun, but it's like it's not easy. Not easy at all. A lot are dumb sprite swaps. Oh yeah, the uh, the hacks. Yeah, there's too many of that. Too many of those. I have six. All right, so let's do, let's do that. Oh, you played this game years ago during its alpha. Oh, really? Obviously, Mike is a better dome player. Um, well, I started playing it the other day. And it took me a little while to, like, learn really what, you know, what's going on, what I'm supposed to be doing. It, it takes a little bit of, you know, playing it to learn what to do. It's not something I understood all the mechanics of. I, I, I still don't understand all the mechanics of it, you, you know, at all. But Mike's better at giving dome. I, that's definitely true. I'm an expert. Most of my chat knows that. Me and Crunchy the Clown in my chat, he can tell you I'm a pro. Good luck finding anybody better at that. 7-Eleven, yeah, 7-Eleven. 
I said Mike is the dome daddy. So you can you can get um, the automatic like cannon so that you don't always have to come here. There's an auto cannon. There's run modifiers that you can put on to make this game easier. I'm the way I'm playing this game is like I'm kind of making the game kind of difficult on myself. I could like ease it off by putting modifiers on, but I'm not doing that. But there are a bunch of modifiers that you can plop on to make the game like a little easier. So if you're looking at this and you're like, I don't know, man, this looks hard. You could play it that way if you wanted. There's all kinds of difficulties here. You know, I'm trying to, I'm doing these really, really difficult difficulties. So when you're looking at this and you see me like dying over and over, realize that I'm playing this on a pretty hard setting. So you don't have to play quite so hard. Like maybe you eventually get to that, but like I'm, I'm making it kind of brutal on myself here. All right, so I'm gonna, I kind of want to do the next drill. Or the next carry capacity or something, I don't know. I want to do all this stuff is a problem. Uh, I'm going to do the carry capacity. No, I'm going to do the drill. I'm going to do the drill. Chaos said drill. Yeah, that's what I went for. Uh, I went for the drill. Oh, perfect. And I will fix that down there in a minute. Peter Wiseman, thank you very much for the sub. You enjoyed the stream yesterday. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, now I'm going to go for the, now I'll do the speed. And the next one, you know, I'll do the, maybe I'll do the next carry capacity next. We'll see. I don't want to have a trench going straight down. start going back already because the thing will start blinking on me. I know how this goes. I need that like proximity meter thing or whatever it's called. Which is, I'm going to get it now. Um, which Because I really need it. I'm going to get, there's this hostile pro proximity meter. I just feel like I really need that thing. But ap after that, that gives you the meter on the bottom left. Then I'm going to, then I'll get, grab these. Yeah, and you see time's up. He's addicted to this game. I am. Are you just saying that I'm playing this game again? I told you I am. You're not wrong. I, I seriously am. Um, what I want to do, you probably like, you're, okay, so you're seeing me play this game a lot. I want to get, I saw that, the, here's the thing. I saw that there was a leaderboard, and I was like, man, I really like this game. I want to try to, like, get, I'm not like, oh, I want to try to get number one on the leaderboard or anything like that. I just want to be able to get to the stuff where I'm, like, doing the leaderboard and see if I can, like, get somewhere, like, okay on it eventually. That's what I want to do with it. I'm not looking to get, like, number one or anything. But maybe, like, could I get in the top 100? Could I get in the top 200 or something like that? I want, I want to be able to, like, just do that. And once I've done that, then I feel like, okay, maybe then I can, like, move on from the game. But I kind of, like, want to do, like, some of the leaderboard stuff. But at the same time, I'm also like, oh, but I should also try to beat the you ask for it thing, too. So there's a couple things I want to do in this game. So I'm going to be playing this for a little while, probably until I do some of those things. Uh, or at least I'm going to try to do it. But, um... And also another thing is like later on they might add things to the game. Like they might add like the multiplayer and they might add other things. So like I might like come back to this game later. I don't know. So Tony Uncle Al had a really smart take on leaderboards. He says what you do is put up a score that's higher than average. 
and that's something you can be proud of. You don't have to be number one necessarily. Oh, so you figure out what the average is, and then you try to try to be like a little bit above that. That's not bad. That way you can be like, well, at least I did it better than the average. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was thinking, because I was like, oh, maybe if I'm in the top like 200 or something, like that would at least be like, okay, I feel like I like did something. You know, that, like I, I kind of have the same mentality. I don't need to be in the top 10. I don't even need to be in the top 50. But if I was like, you know, maybe in the top 200 or something, then maybe I could feel like good about myself, you know, to some degree. Because I'm not going to get number one, you know, unless if I wanted to be number one, this would be like all I play. You know, maybe if, I, if this was like literally the only game I played, then maybe I could do that. But I don't I'm not willing to do that. I don't think ever probably with any game. Um... Even, like, something, you know, it's, like, Miss Pac-Man or something like that, you know, I love, but I just, I don't have the desire to make any game the only game I play, you know? It's just, that's not who I am, um, and I don't, um, what, how can I say this? I, uh, oh, crap, let me grab, get this, um, and I'm definitely not, like, knocking any people that do that. I think that that's awesome. Uh, I just, there's so many video games out there and so many different things that I want to play that I just don't feel like I can commit to only playing, like, one game. But, like, I feel like this is a game that you could just, you could be like, oh, man, I want to get, I want to have number one on the leaderboard, like, all the time. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to just probably only play this game and, like, completely commit yourself to it. And I just, I don't know if I'll ever do that not just with this game but I mean I, like any game I just I don't know if I'll ever do that we'll see like maybe I could be wrong maybe one day in the future like I'll get really into some game and I'll want to do that but right now I just don't feel like that's that's for me are you saying people at the top of the leaderboards are people with, that live with their parents and have no lives. You have to be a loser in order to best them. Jeez. Um, that's <laughs> that's harsher. That's harsher than I, I would ever put it. Um, uh, you don't necessarily know that. What if what if you found out that the top the top person that has the number one thing in this game in Dome Keeper. What if they have a really good job and they only play the game, you know, maybe they play the game a couple hours a day, you know, it's like their, their hobby, but they have a job, they have a girlfriend, they have a life. You never know. It could, it could be. It doesn't necessarily have to be that they don't have any kind of, like, life. I don't, th I don't think. Now... To be clear, I think there probably are a lot of games where there's leaderboards and the and the person who's in the number one spot maybe is like what you're saying. But I'm sure that there's instances where it's a perfectly reasonable person with a balanced life that also has a good spot on the leaderboard. I think you can probably do both. I, I don't think it has to be that they ha that they're a loser. But in a lot of instances, that is, I bet that is probably true. <laughs> you know? I just feel like, the, I, I would feel bad if that's always the case. Do you think that's the case 100% of the time? I'd like to think that there's occasions where, I mean, I have no cobalt again. Cobalt, and you ask for it, like. I mean, I may start having a problem here. I mean, I got all this gold, the gold's great, but if I can't heal my dome, I'm in trouble. So, oh, here. All right, and there's three. Okay. This is going to keep me going. I don't have time to even... Oh, that was the perfect place to do that. <laughs> okay. I got lucky there. Thank God I just got those. 
And you know, I can up my health. I'm gonna up the health now. It's one thing to set a high score, but to defend it in indefinitely. Oh, defending it indefinitely. I, I wasn't taught. I, I didn't know that's what you meant. That's that's a little different. So okay, you're talking about defending it indefinitely. Yeah, I didn't mean. I just meant what I meant was okay. Here's what I meant. You get a high score on a leaderboard. Maybe like once you see like somebody oh took them over and then you're like okay I'll I'll try to get the top spot again and then maybe you do get the top spot again but then after that like you move on with your like life I don't mean consistently the rest of your life you're like trying to get the top spot on the leaderboard like I don't I didn't mean that I just meant I think it's like possible to get on the leaderboard have a normal life you know and like keep it there maybe you keep it there for a little bit and then like you move on with your life that's like what I meant. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go grab more stuff. We all miss fat cock. Um, I mean, I'm here. There's no need to. There's no need to miss it. I'll see you at the Seven Eleven later. All right, I need. Um, I need to go to sex. What am I gonna do next? I'm gonna do that carry capacity. One of my chopped liver. Sometimes I envision myself as a little waitress named Flo. Anybody else feel that way? <laughs> I think they said yes. <laughs> Excuse me, Flo. They go, yeah, Mike. Actually, I do. I do feel that way. I also, I also feel like I'm a waitress from the 1970s named Flo. How did you know, Mike? All right. Wait, what? Oh, you're being the waitress. <laughs> you having coffee, honey? What are you having in your coffee? Decaf or regular? <laughs> yeah, pretty, exactly, pretty much. All right, so I, I got the carry capacity. I'm going to go back down. You hate the ball throwing, guys? I, I do, too. They're rough. I know I need to grab that thing. I will. I'm going to get the gold first, and then I'll get that. What breakfast dish do I recommend? Um, I don't know. I feel like everybody has like a different taste with breakfast. Um, I don't know, man. I'm pretty basic. It's like scrambled eggs or something. Oh, prospecting meter. All right. Great. That is great. You love pancakes? Alright, I'm getting close to there, right there. Perfect. I should do speed. No, I need to. I need to do all this. I need to do the, the, like the laser upgrades and everything. Oh, I have twelve. I can get both of the ones I want. I'm gonna do both of those. Sweet. That's great. Then maybe I can stop getting hit on all of this. So I'm gonna like turn it up just slightly. I feel like it's like really low. 
Okay. You haven't worked for a pancake restaurant in 14 years, and you haven't had pancakes since. Oh, what, did you eat them a lot when you like worked there, where they probably gave you like free food? I never worked in a restaurant. So I never got to I never got to have the free food experience. I used to work in a liquor store for a long time. Got that 10% discount. <laughs> free liquor. It wasn't free. It was just a discount a discount. It was like I don't know, 10 or 20% off or something. drink as much anymore but um, if I have anything now like with beer I like like Belgian or German beer I like pretty much that again we're gonna have to get the 12 on that that's probably what i should do is did i get the auto cannon thing yeah not even oh I, and i need to do i need to do this oh, i need to do that really bad hmm. oh i thought you would say cores light 40s ew no actually honestly if i had to pick a least favorite that would probably be it I fucking hate that. You like it? Uh -huh. That's fine. I, I don't, but... Alright, um... I know I dropped one. I need... I want, I want that, like, really bad. I feel like if I get that, I can, like, stay alive for a while. There we go. Perfect. Oh, my God. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Eddie GRP, thank you very much for the sub. to get the 12 MMA. Come on, give me one more. You mother. Just one more is what I needed. It's gonna completely wreck me, huh? Oh, this is, like, rough. Okay. And do I have any? I have none of that. Okay. real quick. I mean, it is on, like, the hardest setting. I don't find some cobalt soon. I'm gonna be in big trouble. This is enough to get the next, um, over here. This is the gold wall right here. I'm gonna just drag this back right now. Even if I get back really slowly, fine. I'll be able to up the laser and I'm gonna I'm gonna shred at the gold wall, so that'll save me. This must be a decent game, Mike. I'm like obsessed. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, damn, but there's a spire. Oh, of course, that had to be a good one. I'm. God. Yeah, that's a hard decision. Like, I really need the cobalt, but the spire would be great, but it's like. I don't know. Yeah, the spire won't do any good if I'm dead. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. I'm, I, I'll get the cobalt. I'm gonna have to because look at my look at my look at my base here. It's like bad shape. Did it even fix it? I didn't. I just use, I use, wait a second. I just used the two cobalt. Oh oh no, it didn't. Because oh, because it was still going into the into the thing. Oh, also by the way, and I can I can upgrade it more now. Oh fuck! I hit the wrong one. I meant to do that. Oh God, can you undo it? I mean, I still need that. I meant to do the beam. Oh God. I, I hit the wrong button. That's probably gonna end the whole game on me. Come on, come back out of it. I hate these guys so much. How do I play Don't Starve? Uh, let me look. Hmm, no. Look at a little bit of gameplay. What kind of game is it? Hmm. So you're a little guy like going around the woods chopping down trees and I don't know, I have I've never even I've never seen that in my life. Uh I don't know. I, I try it. Looks maybe interesting. My email address? It, uh, Mike Matei live at Gmail. Do you want to send me an email? I don't know. I think I think there's a link to it on my um, Twitch, but it's Mike Matei live at Gmail. Send all your fan mail. That's why a guy likes to send me the pictures of him jerking off on the pictures of me. He prints out pictures of me and sends it to me. It's great. Thanks. Thanks, buddy, the guy who does that. So nice of you to do that. Those, those are the kind of emails I get these days. <sighs> Alright, let me get the... Oh, I need one more. Please play Don't Starve. I don't know, maybe one day I have to, I have to try it out. Man. See if I even like it. I don't know. I just looked at a video of it. Like, may, like maybe I'll check it out someday. Don't give up Dome Keeper for Don't Starve. <laughs> I, do, I, I, this is some random game somebody in the chat mentioned like maybe oh down somebody mentioned Downwell I had Downwell I, I, I first of all I had Downwell on the uh, on my phone uh, which actually is, works pretty well on the phone but I have it on my Switch too that I'm gonna stream that game at some point too I really, I really like that game but um alright hang on I need to do this so the laser beam power two Make sure I'm clicking the right thing here. Now I got it. Okay. There's like two of these guys. Like, come on. Oh, 
Cobalt? I know more Cobalt. The man, cobalt is the major problem. <sighs> Love the graphical choice. Oh, of this? Yeah, it's cool. So it's like, here, grab some of that. Alright. See, you only have so much time because you gotta get back. So that's like. There's more water there. Man, I wish I could find like an auto cannon or something. Come on, hurry up. I'm gonna. Oh, God! Wow! That's great. That's just great. Don't kill me right there. Fuck! I didn't have cobalt. Oh, I can keep that, though. Ooh. Wait, gadget to keep none. Oh, you have to click on it. Yeah, gadget to keep. I'm going to keep that. Hey, that's at least good. I can start with that. That'll help. I'm at least gonna have that. So that, at least that's like, that's like the little bit of um, progress that you can get. So I don't know if that little thing would make it like, oh, this is a rogue light because they give you like a little bit, but it's like that. It's like barely anything. So I don't know. Like I, it, I don't know. Like. I don't know what people consider this, like a rogue like or a rogue light, but it, like either way, it's really hard, and they they really barely give you any thing to go to the next level. I, I'm gonna, I want to say it's like more of a rogue like because it's like it's pretty damn brutal. I think it has to be like a little bit, like if they were giving you like a little bit more each time, you know. But it, I guess it also depends on what you do, because like look at look at this right now. So now if I did all this, let, let's say I cho chose all this. Let, so let's say like every time they were like, oh, you can have this and you can have that, you can have like all this stuff, and then say, like, okay, well then then it's like then it'd be like a rogue light. But so I guess it can kind of be either, you know. If you choose all that stuff, then it's like light, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it on. You asked for it. I'm gonna keep it on like the small map, and I'm gonna try it again. But now I have the prospecting thing. So, just like the 49ers. <laughs> I'm confused. This is your first time seeing the keep gadget feature. How have you not seen that yet? What are you talking about? I've seen it like a hundred times. Why do you think I haven't seen it before? Like when um, a lot of the rounds end... They let you keep a gadget. Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think that I don't know about it? Did I say something that made made it seem like I didn't know about it? What the thing I didn't know was I didn't remember that I had to click on it or not. I thought that so they give you the option to like not take it into your next run, but if you click on it, you can take it to your next one. And I do want to take it to the next one. So I forgot that you have to click on it. Maybe that's where you got confused. But I, yeah, I've many, I, I've done many hours of streams playing this game, and you probably would have, I thought, would have saw me already click on the thing to to take the item to the gadget to the next round. I've done that many times, so I, I know all about it. Hopefully that helps. I'd like to know why you were confused and think I didn't know that about that. I, I must have said something that was confusing.
It was a misunderstanding. No, that's fine. Souls is more roguelite. Um, it's been a little while since I played like a Dark Souls thing. Hang on a second. All right, so we're gonna go drill. that like you, you like go to the bonfire it resets i'm trying to think about the the progression in like dark souls um what do they what do they like let you keep it's been like it's been, i've beaten dark souls and like it's been like years so i'm like i'm trying to remember so it's like you go through the levels you're like rolling out of the way and you're like doing the parry and stuff like that and then like you kill a bunch of guys and then Oh, you get well. It's dark. It's dark souls. So you kill the enemies, and then you get you keep the souls, and then you go to the like shops and stuff. And when you when you die, I'm trying to remember when you. Well, yeah, when you die in Dark Souls, you keep all that like armor and stuff, right? You like you don't like lose your armor just because you die. You just you go like back to the bonfire or whatever, right? But then you keep all your like armor and stuff. So you're keeping a lot of stuff in that. It's not like you, you're, like, naked every time. Like, you, you're, like, in your underwear again every time. Uh, so, yeah, I guess then it would... That would be, like, a... I guess it would be, like, a rogue light. And isn't that funny? Because people are people often, you know, are like, oh, man, like, Dark Souls is, like, the hardest thing ever or whatever. But, like, it's not even really, like, a rogue like Is it... You know, it's more, it's more of, like, they, like, keep, they let you, like, keep all that stuff. Souls, like, you keep your, you keep your progress. Yeah, exactly. You, like, you keep all the progress. So, it's, like, it's still great for its time. Oh, I'm not, like, knocking the game or anything. I, I love Dark Souls. I'm, like, a Dark Souls guy. Like, I, I, I love those games. I mean, it's been a while since I played it, but like I, I've, you know, I've gone through Dark Souls and um, played quite a bit of Demon Souls and whatever. And hang on a second, I gotta go back. I, I really like those games. You try playing, it, it's hard. Um, the thing is, is you, you gotta like learn to parry. Um, and you gotta learn to like roll and stuff. Once you learn to parry and roll, those games get infinitely easier. So it's like it's like super worth your time to like learn to parry and roll well in Dark Souls. So because if you can learn that, like you can really get through those games. Because that's that's the whole game. You know, from my experience, it's like if you can like get the parrying and rolling and stuff down, it's like. You know, I mean, it could still be difficult, but you, like you got to be able to like do that. All right, so hang on. Um, so all this, oh, I can get both of them. I'm doing both. Boom, boom. The large screen size bosses are intimidating, but you learn to roll into their bodies and you had more success. Yeah, it's like... I don't know if the, like, the size of the enemies on the screen, if that ever... You felt that the size of the enemies on the screen was intimidating? I just feel like they, they just go on too long for me. That's the only, that's the only thing. I, I, I like this. The, probably one of the reasons like I'm obsessed with this game is, is because it's rounds. 
like I go down and I dig into the dirt, regardless if I win or lose. Let's say let's say I won the round and I got the artifact. What will the round take me? Like I don't know, an hour or something. Then it's like I feel like I did something. You know, I went I went down. I got the relic, and then I won. Or I played it for, like, 40 minutes or something, and then I lost. But I feel like it's, like, a round, and it's not, like... Like, I feel like that's almost like a complete experience, and I can have the complete experience within, like, I don't know, an hour or something, however long the round goes. And then I might be like, okay, now let me play the game again. And then I get another... I feel like a complete experience each time, like it, like it happens. So either I'll make it or I won't make it. But either way, that's satisfying to me. It's like, okay, I died that time, but let me try again, and then I, I do it again, and I, maybe I, I won't win. But it's like these, like you know, thirty-minute, hour-long, whatever rounds. Um, that kind of thing is more appealing to me than it, these games that just like. Because I'm playing, like, I really, really, really liked Demon Souls, like, a lot. Like, I like, I liked, like, the music and, like, the, the character, like, everything about it. The only thing that, my problem with those games is just they could go on and on and on and on and on. And I want it to be, like, I wish there was, like, some kind of, like, in-between. I want, I, I wish there was, like, a Dark Souls or Demon Souls games game where you could do, like, a whole thing, like, in like, a shorter time period or something. Because I, I, I end up playing, like, some of these games, and I just feel like it just goes on and on and on and on. And I'm just, like, at a certain point, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm going to move on to a different game because it just, like, goes on too long for me. Yeah, time sink. Some of you, yeah, exactly, that's the term for that. It's, just, it's like, such a time sink. And it's just, for me, it's, like, maybe a little bit, just too much. If somebody could just fix that problem <laughs> with the like Souls games, then it would probably be like the only thing I'd ever play, you know? Because those games are like almost, almost exactly what I want, you know, out of out of like a game, you know? Like it's just they're so close to what I want because like the, those graphics and like that style, it's got like that like medieval style and everything's like real like evil and shit. It's like it's like the way like Zelda two was, you know. And I wish the way like Zelda was now, but it's not at all. You know, they made it they made it like all cutesy and I don't know. I don't I don't like Zelda anymore. I like I like the old Zelda games. You know, I'll go back and play like the old games, but I don't I don't like Zelda anymore. I feel like you know you move you move on from Zelda and you move to um, what's it called uh, Diablo and you move to Dark Souls and Demon Souls and stuff like that because Nintendo I think Nintendo ruined Zelda personally I know there's a lot of people that like like the modern Zelda stuff but I don't I, I don't I don't like that at all and that sucks because like as a kid that was my favorite video game uh, franchise. But I think they totally destroyed what it was, personally. You don't like gluing logs together? <laughs> right. Well, whatever. I don't want to have that whole discussion again. Younger Zelda fans hate the old Zeldas. And old, older Zelda fans hate the new Zeldas. Well, give or take. There's, like, older people that like the newer Zeldas. And there's younger, you know... I've been to conventions, and kids have come up to me and been like, oh, yeah, I watched your Zelda 1 stream. And I'm like, oh, really? You know, I, so that's not always the case. Um, but pro that probably in general, though. That probably is true in general. But there are exceptions. they make another top down one I just don't care there, there's like Zelda randomizer now and all that it's like that's good enough I don't I don't really care alright so yeah I don't care about either one of those really to be honest with you I'm gonna do the cobalt
for once. <laughs> the age old question. Why doesn't Zelda put out? <laughs> I mean, you remember the Zelda cartoon? Dude, he, sa he saves her life over and over and over. Saves her life, saves the king. You know, there's that, the, I think it's the very first episode of the Zelda cartoon. What happens? Um, it zooms in on the tower, and Link is, like, in bed. He wakes up. I think he has a picture of Princess Zelda, like, next to the bed. He, like, loves her so much. And he's like, he's like the guy. They have like knights and stuff like that, but like they're all like worthless. If Ganon comes in or something, they all just, they're, oh, they're just like pushovers. So all like the skeletons come in, Ganon, the Stalfos, and you know all the bad guys, the Moblins come in and everything. They're attacking. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna take the precious Triforce. And what happens? Breaks down the door. Fifty Moblins come in. Links flipping off the walls. Punching the moblins, zapping them, you know, he gets punched in the face, gets knocked down, d kills all the skeletons, kills all the moblins, zaps them all, and he's like, oh man, you know, they almost got the Triforce, Whew. good thing, you know, jeez, wow, I almost died, and then, and then you hear, he's like, what? uh, yeah, come in, and it's like Princess Zelda, and she's like, excuse me, you're late. We're, you're supposed to be at the magic show, and he's like, "I was being attacked, and I saved the kingdom." And she like slams, she like slams the door in his face. It's like, it's like she she sucks, like she fucking really sucks, you know. It's like the dude just, you know, should be. Uh, oh my god, what a, what a way to like make. Um, kids dislike Zelda, you know? Why do they want to make kids dislike Zelda? You know? And I'm not saying, like, oh, she's got to, like, put out or whatever, but she could just be nice. She could come in and be like, hey, you know, thanks for, you know, saving the kingdom, and thanks for, you know, show some, like, gratitude to, to some degree. You know, the guy's out there risking his life. You know, I don't, and I just don't understand why why Nintendo. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, let's make uh, Zelda just seem to be like this horrible, like deplorable character. It's so, like, don't you want like Link and Zelda to be like lovable characters? Like, I don't know, man. This is this is really not going great. Don't end already. Please don't end. I think there's no cobalt in this. <laughs> like, so it's starting to seem like, which is, uh, I would say, a major issue. This cobalt repair the dome. Yes, it repairs the dome, and I need the dome repaired super badly. It's a major problem right now. That's what keeps like kind of happening. You know what I could do though? I'm stupid. I need to do this. Give me some water. I need to do that. And I'm gonna put some money into the prospecting thing. I'm stupid, I'm like not using the prospecting thing like well enough. Okay, hopefully I can make it through. I get like any. Oh I had a little bit. Okay. That's good at least. So I need to put some into it. I'm gonna put some into the cobalt, because like I gotta be able to find it. So that's good at least. And then I need to put it into this and this when I can. So that'd be like the next thing. So hopefully I can make it through this round alright. Mike, I love watching you play this game. Good, I'm glad that you don't hate it because I enjoy this game and I'd like to be able to have you enjoy the streams and me enjoy what I'm doing. So that's nice to hear.
for Mikey. What is the atomic weight of cobalt? <laughs> All right, uh, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna do, oh yeah, the power of this thing. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this one next. Well, I get six, no, I won't get six, but. Let me catch up with my chat real quick, hang on. Uh, you always seem to find the coolest rogue lights, even if they are older and slip through your radar. Yeah, so there was that um, Rogue Legacy. That was, like, okay. I like this game a lot better. Um, but, like, Rogue Legacy was, like, all right. Um, I'd recommend it, but, like, I would much... I like this one, like, much better. Much, like, a lot better. If I had to choose. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Real Galaxy for PS2. Uh, I'll have to look into that. You think there's a cutscene in the Zelda cartoon? Hang on. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm getting the cobalt. You think there's a cutscene in the Zelda cartoon where Zelda almost kisses Link? She likes him. She is just exhausted with... What a shithead he is a lot of the time. Like, you think he is? I feel... Is he? Like, how is how is he, like... I feel like he's always trying to be, like... Like, just sort of save the day or whatever. I don't know. What is... I don't, I don't remember a thing that he did on the show that was, like... Oh, that's kind of crappy of him or anything. I don't know. I don't remember him, like, being like that. You might be right. I, if, like, if that's true. I just don't recall that being the case. Episode. And everyone is sick of his antics, even the king. Like, what, really? Like, what's an example? I don't remember. Like, what's an example of what? What's something he did? But he's also the hero and saves the day, so they don't totally hate him. What's something he did that was that they didn't like him for? Like, I don't even remember anything that he did that they didn't like him for. But what? Like, what's an example? Because I don't. I don't remember. Like, you might. You might be right. I just don't. I don't remember. He did excuse me, princess. So it's just about that that he says that, like, catchphrase. <laughs> I mean, that catchphrase is too. If it's just about that, I mean, that's a little, like, harsh. The guy seem, saves the kingdom all the time, and they're like, oh, but he keeps saying that catchphrase, so screw him, you know? <laughs> He's got an attitude. Yeah, and Zelda doesn't. They, they both do. You think there was 13 episodes? Yeah, there was 13 episodes. All right, so... Okay, I'm going to go for probably... Oh, okay, yeah, what did I want to do next? Let's see, wait. Oh, no, I have that. Oh, I could get the... Yeah, I should probably get the range of this so I can find the cobalt easier. I'm going to do that now because I'm definitely going to want that. And... Oh, the movement speed. That's going up, and then the next thing's going to be the power. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, and I really need... Do I have enough left? I have two left. I'm going to get this. There we go. So this is going... This is going better. I don't know. Rewatch the series. We'll talk about it. Yeah, if I'm not fresh on the show. I'm not fresh on the show. I'd have to, like, rewatch some... I, I, you know, rewatch some of the episodes. I mean, the last thing I was looking at was, like, the Valiant comics. And I don't know. It didn't seem that way in the comics, really, from what I read. I think, honestly, I only read, like, one of them, though, so far. I gotta read the rest of them. I read them a long time ago. You're itching to do another run? You should do it. Do it. You should do it right now, and then tell me how it goes. So, anyway, my proximity meter has the cobalt thing on it now. Um, what, like somewhere around here? Like, I don't know. Let's see if I go down. Is this getting closer to it or what? I'm working this way, I guess, huh? 
I'm trying to get to the cobalt first. Okay. Please be like three. That'd be awesome. If every time I found this, it was three. All right, two. I'll take two. This drill's got to go up. Okay, so, so far so good with this, especially since I have this prospecting thing. I, I feel like that's, for me, that's like the best thing you can like get. All right, so here we go. Um, can I do the health? I would do the health right now if I can. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the health. about my streams is you never know when I'm going to stream. It could be midnight. It could be 5 a.m. Oh, what time I'm going to stream? <laughs> yeah, what time and what game, right? I don't know either. I tell you what happens is that um, I don't know either. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll play some, like, like NES game. Because like, I, I keep, like, a list of, like, games that I, like, I want to... I want to do streams of, right? And then I go to my list and I'm like, uh, I don't feel like playing any of these right now, <laughs> you know? And maybe I will, like, someday, but, like, I don't know, I'll, I'll, some days I'll, like, look, look at my list of games that I'm, like, that I want to, like, stream, and I'm like, I don't know, like, another day I'll do that. And then I, then I end up spending, like, hours just, like, looking through different games and stuff, and then I, you know, until I stumble upon something, then I'm like, okay, I think I'm in the mood to stream this or whatever. And then I, I'll, I'll play games beforehand, so usually before a stream, I'll play a game for you know for a little while to be like get the feel of like whether or not I want to like stream it or not. So off stream, I'm I'm doing that a lot of times where I'm like, do I want to stream this? Do I not? Am I in the mood? And a, a lot of the time, I'll like play a game. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not really feeling this game. And then I just put that to the side and I play another thing, play another thing until I find something that I'm like. Okay, yeah, this is the thing I want to play. So I definitely do a lot of that uh, off off stream, for sure. There's a lot of that goes on. And then and then another thing is like buy, buying the games, getting them downloaded, getting them to work, you know, you know the, whatever the, the whole the whole thing. And then you know when you guys like subscribe, you know, it'd be like okay, I have to buy like a game. I gotta buy some PlayStation game or whatever the hell. Then you know the, the, your subscription money a lot of times goes towards the, for me to buy the game to stream for you to watch. So like this process is like a circle. You know, you guys subscribe, I buy the game, or I might, I have, might have to buy a controller. I might have to buy a monitor. I might have to buy a capture card, whatever. Any of this, the camera equipment, SD cards, on and on and on so that I can do this. So, like, if it wasn't for you guys subscribing, I would, I, you know, I wouldn't, you know, that, I mean, that's how this, like, works, you know, c because it's, like, there's not, I, guess, I mean, I guess there is ads, like, anyway, but, like, ads don't pay, like, nearly as much as when you guys subscribe. Like, if, if somebody subscribes, because it's, like, $4.99 or whatever, right? If somebody subscribes, that's, like, a thousand times more than, like, some ad, like, playing. The ads are, like, you know... 100 ads play and it's like you get a penny it's like it's like terrible so if it was only off of the ads a lot of streamers wouldn't be able to stream because you know it can be expensive you gotta buy a computer you gotta buy like lights you gotta buy like all this crap so you know that's why the subscriptions are important subs pay for my salad toppings that too most important I mean if I don't eat then this stream won't happen because it'll be dead <laughs> so I mean, yeah, that, that's part of it. <laughs> oh, look at this! What is this? Um. Oh, that, that wants me to put a piece of cobalt into that. What would, what would that thing do? Anybody know? I gotta go back. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got, oh yeah, I need the I need the laser. I need all I need all this really badly. If I can get this and this, I need a ton of the. All right, I'm gonna look at the. Let's look look for cobalt. I mean not cobalt. I mean iron. Iron, iron. I'm gonna hunt for iron. And there should be some over here. Yep. That's why you gotta have that prospecting here. All right, money is gonna go into. The gun, the gun. I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna run back down because I think there was more in that area. If I can get that resource manager thing, that thing definitely helps a lot too. And I need, I know I need speed and stuff too, but we're gonna go here. It was like lighting up there somewhere. Is it higher? No, it's lower. Here, right here. See how much that thing helps. All right, I'm going. I still, I know it's the, the battle's gonna start in a second. They really give you like no time to do anything. Come on. Okay. So laser. I need 24 for the next like, laser beam. Sharks with freaking laser beams. That's it for me. Hey, Alraz, thanks for being here. Do you mind the Dome Keeper streams, Alraz? All right, uh, let's see what the next thing is here. So, all right, 13, 14, we'll see what I, I want to, I, if I could save it to get to this. 18. All right, I'm gonna try to make it through this round and probably get the, If I get the next one, is that it? If I get the next laser beam thing, I'll just be able to like wipe out all the damn enemies like so quick. You're loving the dome keeper streams? Okay. You were leaving, so I was like, hmm, maybe he hates these. <laughs> I, I, I realize that some people really just want me to play like retro games. But think, think about that for a second. Imagine if this exact game was on the NES. This would be like one of the best games on the system, you know? Actually, speaking of that, it'd be awesome if somebody did a demake and put this on NES. Oh my God, that's like my dream come true. Somebody take this, the company that did that, that'd be so cool, I don't know, somebody, if somebody like made this game on the NES, that'd be like so awesome. Or Super Nintendo or, or Gen oh Genesis. Put this on like, put Dome Keeper on Genesis. That would be it. If they did that, I that I would just I would never pl probably play another I'd be done. <laughs> I 
actually don't, please don't do that, because I'll never play anything else. If this game was on Sega Genesis, holy crap, I would be like, that would be just the end. I hope actually that that never happens, now that I think about it. All right, so I, I'm going to do the next laser beam. An NESD make of this game would be possible. The battle segments might have to be less enemies. Yeah. Yeah, maybe... I mean, maybe NES, but, like, Genesis would probably be, like, the thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it matter which system it's on? Uh, because... Sega Genesis is awesome. Because I, cause I love the vibe of the NES and the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. So, like, the way this game looks look right here, it's a great-looking game, but by looking at it, I can tell, well, this looks like a modern indie game. And it's really nice looking, but it doesn't look like a ret like a real retro game. There's real retro, and then there's like indie game retro. This is indie game retro. So if somebody took it and put it like on Genesis or, or like Super Nintendo or something like that, then it would be, it would look, it would have to look because it would literally work on the system. It would have to be in the parameters of what like a real Sega Genesis game would look like or be like. You know? So then it, you would have this cool game with that exact vibe because it would be on that system. That's why it matters. Because I love all those, you know, NES and Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Does that make sense? I mean, this is, this is cool how it is, but I'm saying in addition to this, as like a separate, like, variation on this cool idea, imagine if you could also have it with that cool, like, Sega Genesis vibe, too. Like, on top of it. It'd be cool. Right now, I have this laser, too. Was that it? See, now I'm able to just whack those enemies away real quick. You know, I don't, like, want to go, like, too deep into this right now, because, like, I need the stronger drill. So I'm going to try to get the higher sides first. Ugh. This is, like, purple. Somewhere around here is... Wait, am I getting away from it, or... Let's see if I go higher. No, I'm, I just got away from it. Wait, let's go back this way. Get away from it again. <sighs> getting closer. I think. Now I just got further away, didn't I? I'm getting further away. It's this way. Here we go. Found it. What mode is this? So this is the normal, like, relic hunt. But it's uh, it's a hard. It, this is the hardest difficulty, but it's the normal like game, like the just the basic relic hunt. I think I guess it's called. Oh, crap! Get to the top. I took too long on the bottom there. That was my. Oh God! How oh, many cobalt? Oh my God! Can I get this? Wait, maybe I can get. I'm gonna take that right now. Look at the meter here. If you ever see any cobalt pop up, this is something this is something you guys can do to help me. If you ever see any cobalt appear on my little meter in the bottom left and I like pass it, you can tell me in the chat 
be like, hey, Mike, in the purple area on the left, that, or, you know, something like that, there's COBOL. Or be like, you know, in the blue area on the right, there was COBOL, you know, and then I could go back and, like, find it. Because I'll probably, oh, it's actually right around here somewhere. It's lower. It's probably like lower or something. Yeah, it's lower. Here it is. All right, that's two. It takes two, baby. All right, I gotta go back. I gotta be better about it. No! I gotta be better about getting back sooner. Okay. Um, yeah, I barely got like any gold there. Ugh. <sighs> way sit down nope up where is it here like no here um there it is ooh this bunch all right i'm gonna go 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 i'll drop a piece because i can barely move You could call them squares, and you wouldn't be wrong at all. I know. I should just call them squares, triangles, and circles. That would be the better terminology. I just keep saying the wrong thing. All right. Uh, I had one there. Just put in. Okay, so what am I going to do next? All right, I'm, I feel like I should do the speed on this thing so I can move it faster. Can I get 10? Yes, I can. I'm going to take that. All right, here we go. I can find that auto cannon. Find the triangles. Yeah, this game's called Find the Triangles. My camera just got like super blurry. Not that it matters. Not that you can even see me. <laughs> I don't really care because it's like I'm like just look at the game. But there we go. All right. All right. Uh, wait a second. So, all right. I have, I have no iron. I have no cobalt. Great. That's great. Time for another 14 hour stream. I mean, that's how this, these, that's how this goes. It, it's not gonna be as long as that. I get the drill. I'm gonna, okay, okay. Did that thing just open? Holy crap. Okay, wait, wait. Do I have any cobalt? 
I don't have any. All right, I have to survive this. Make, make this an easy wave. Dude, did that thing open? Dude, it's open? Dude, it's over. I'm ending it. Wow. Okay, so... Hang on, I, I don't want to say it before it happens, but... Boom, done. I mean, I could have spent more time on this and just like screwed around or whatever, but I have the thing, so it's done. Wow. All right, so I beat a, uh, what's it called? You asked for a difficulty. Oh, I'm supposed to be playing this right now. I forgot. I'm used to like the auto cannon thing being on. So boom, I won that. Yay, we won one. There you go. I can, can I end? What? Let's. Should we end this on a positive note? I could. I could end it right there. Yay, Dome Keeper's great, and I beat the hardest mode. <laughs> I'm gonna play more, but I'm not gonna have this stream go on like eight million hours. Uh, I will play more, but there you go. I just did what I wanted to do for today. So like I'm I'm already happy, but we'll we'll keep playing though. All right, so that was great. So that was the first time I beat a uh, a you asked for it, but I didn't get anything out of that, huh? So I didn't, so I didn't get I didn't like unlock anything. Oh, you didn't it didn't let you keep anything. Yeah, I didn't get anything out of it. So I guess so. What, so let's see. So what should I even do next? I don't even know. I mean, I could I could do the the next map size, um, but I feel like maybe I'll maybe I want to do like prestige mode. So this is the other mode. Let's go to prestige. If I can. There we go. Prestige. I don't like how they put that up there. I wish they would just have that at the bottom. Um, all right. So. These are the different modes. So I don't have fixed cobalt, minor, or I did, actually I did unlock endless. So I have endless, and then there's countdown. Um, so it's like I can try endless or countdown or whatever. I've done count. I've done countdown before. Um, so th this is the like leaderboard that I want to like mess with. I haven't really messed. I, I tried it like once or whatever, but. I want to like start messing with this more. So you go to you, the mode is relic on right. So I'm gonna switch it to prestige, and then I guess I'm gonna. Um, so I have countdown mode and I have endless mode. These are the ones. And then if I if I play more of this, I can unlock these two as well. And then we can try the different prestige modes and see like which one I like. You know, these are all the different like prestige variant modes. I don't know like what the most popular one is. Maybe I, I don't know if it's like endless or whatever. But uh, also friendly mode. Let's see, play prestige on a lower difficulty. Oh, so there you go. So if you're playing this game and having a really hard time, this is like their. This is that's like modern gaming. Like here you go. We're gonna make it easier on you. But like us old guys, we uh, you know we grew up with the fucking with arcade games and shit. You know we don't we don't do that. If you play Prestige and do the go home option, you can unlock more of the variant. Yeah, it's the go home thing, right? So I'm gonna do that, but uh, so that's the thing we're gonna do next. I'm gonna take a break, I'll come back, and then we'll do one of these uh, Prestige mode thing things, and I'll see what I can do. So I will be back uh, in a couple minutes. Enjoy the edited break. I'll be right back. Come on, two more. We can get that. Maybe.
Jordan. Yes! I get like really into this. Because I'm going to win. What do you think, Jessica? <laughs> she, uh, steal, she's like stealing my moves over here. Yeah, yeah. Who's the fucking best at Animaniacs bowling? Look at that. Did she just slap her ass? It's, uh, somebody rewind that. I think. Uh, I think she or clip it. I mean, or whatever the fuck this is. I swear to God, I want to see that. She slapped her ass. I haven't figured this out really yet. Is the bottom one, like, speed? They don't even tell you. Like, I don't even know what's what. Oh! There! Look, watch! It was nothing. You, she didn't slap her ass. Is it, you have to get a spare? I have to specifically get a spare for the ass slap. Shit. Well, we might have to rely on the clips. Oh. <laughs> there it is, see? I told you she slaps her ass. Ever get it on? They could conquer the galaxy. Here they come. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that face. <laughs> this is too much. Oh god, I saw, I've never played this, so I don't fucking know. Alright, simple enough. Fuck yeah. Think it could be darker? I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Can't even fucking see what's going on. <laughs> like, honestly. Some kid that got out of college, like, fucking did that. The fuck is this thing? The fucking devil? Put the foot on top of the fucking mouse man, mouse person. I would make him fucking jump. Why? Okay. How about a ladder? Here. We climb something? Climb. Go up the fucking thing. Go up the fucking thing. Go up the fucking thing. Here. Oh, maybe you gotta hit the up direction? Hey, my, get the. Here. I'm gonna hit it when he passes it. Go up it. Go up, go up. Go, go, go up it. He's not doing anything. Fuck him. Alright, how about banana peel? Here, fuck you. Is he gonna miss? Fuck you! Yeah, eat shit. Let's just, let's make his life a living nightmare. rat. You dirty rat. Dude, I want him just, just be tripping over his, himself the whole fucking time. I at least select this every time. <laughs> Fuck this asshole. What is this? I don't even know what that is. A lockbox? What is this? Can I kick him in the ass? Make some more. Okay. Oh yeah, if I put more of those all over, we can have them go quicker. Yeah. 
perfect. What's this, a bottle of fucking shampoo? Let's shove this bottle of shampoo up his ass. Put it up his ass. I don't even know what that is. Wait, here, wait, wait, wait. Anybody have any idea what that is? Like, can I not put another one down? Dude, shove the, shove the fucking shampoo up your asshole. What do you th what is that? Dildo? Is it dildo? Look at this fucking dog over here. Fuck him. Yeah, hey, that's this fucking asshole. Let's get them all in here. I want them all slipping. Let's make this a fucking nightmare. Is there any other things to do here? I hear music. Can we change the fucking music? Oh my god. That pauses everything. Credits. Who made this fucking thing? God damn it. Responsible. Whew. Wow. Imagine paying for that. Like, even if you're, like, gonna get that for a kid or something, like, that would be, that's just cruel. That's cruelty. That is an awful, awful, awful game. I wonder, it, would that, who would be the host of Family Feud in this? Would it be, who would have been around that time? Is this, like, gonna, like, Richard Karn era? Because, um... Wouldn't be like, um, what if it's a fucking Louis Anderson? Oh my god. You know what? Dude. Oh my god. Is this like a Louis Anderson game? Please tell me. Please tell me this is Louis Anderson. Or didn't. Ah! <laughs> uh, Mike, which system is more powerful? Xbox Series X or the PS5? Uh, I don't care. Mike, you don't even know how to play M&Ms on the PlayStation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you're the expert on M&Ms on the fucking PlayStation. Oh, God. Is this a horse thing? What is it? Why do I always... Why am I always, always, always cursed with horse games? I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking oh my god. Three, two, one, let's ride. Next gate is cross. What? That game. Just send your fucking send your reel over to Walt Disney. What's the worst they can do? Say it's you want to get into Disney? Just send your fucking reel. What's the worst they can say? It's a pile of shit. I want I want that I want that rejection letter in the mail. So <laughs> your animation is a pile of shit. <laughs> Sincerely, Walt Disney.
that break almost over was throwing me off. I didn't even know if that was the ending of the clip. I hope it was. Um, hi, I'm back. Today we're playing Dome Keeper for PC. Right now, this game's only available on uh, with Steam on PC. So if you have a Steam Deck or a PC, you can play the game. Um, and that's what we're that's what we're doing. All right, Mike is almost done smoking his cigarette. That's what I do. On, that's you know, people say that I'm going to the bathroom, but what I really do is I smoke an entire pack of cigarettes between every on every break. So yeah, no. Um, I don't smoke. But, yeah, this is Dome Keeper, and we're going to do prestige mode. And I'm going to do, uh, I guess I could do start with, well, I mean, I had already done Countdown. Countdown unlocked Endless, so I guess I'll, let's see, no limit on time or resources for very long runs. And then this is prestige multiplier starts high and decreases each cycle. I don't know. I mean, I just try endless. I don't really know. All you gotta do is go home option twice on each of these runs and you unlock the other. Yeah, I know. So it's like if I did countdown twice and then I did the go home, then I get like the other ones, right? So I don't know. Somebody said chaos said endless, so sure I'll do I'll do endless, and then until I get the the thing to be able to unlock the thing, and then I'll leave. Endless sounds chill. I think that's where this is all going to end up, probably, with Endless, right? All right, so here we go. Now I don't have the prospecting. So Chaos X, uh, you play this game, too, don't you? From the comments that you've made, I'm uh, getting the impression that you also play this. Is that true? And Big Crack Rock, I think you also play it, right? So we got a couple Dome Keeper experts here. You haven't played it, but you want to get it? Uh oh. Some of the comments that you've made made me feel like you know it enough about the game that. Because I know you were in here the other day, too. I was feeling like, oh, this guy's an expert. <laughs> Come to find out he hasn't even played it before. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you come off like somebody that knows what they're talking about. Let's put it that way. So, good for you, I guess. <laughs> you come off well, is what I'm saying. It's been great to watch. You feel like an expert now? Yeah, I feel you've said a few things where I'm like, oh, this guy knows This guy knows his, his stuff. <laughs> He's never played it before. <laughs> That's so funny. Chat usually figures out the games before Mike does. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, the chat figures that out first, and they, they beat the games before me, and then they, they laugh at how long it takes me. But they do forget that I am a, I am a slow runner. I, I try to do these games as slowly and poorly as possible, and I think that I'm very good at that, personally. That's where my strength lies in playing poorly and slowly. <laughs> I'd like to think. Here, let's see. I need more, I need more. This game has a speed element, you gotta mine fast. I mean, there, that is true. For some reason, like, it doesn't... I don't know why. It, it does have, like, the speed element, but it's like... I don't know why it doesn't... You would think it would bother me, right? But for some reason, it doesn't. It's not, like, all about that. I think maybe that's why. It's, like, only kind of partially about that. Like, right now, I gotta, like, run back here, but, like... Here, okay. Okay, 
Uh, and like really, I need to get 30 and then two of those and I'd be like done. So if I could just like do well enough to do that, we'll, like, we'll hopefully end it pretty quick. All right, uh, I'm gonna get the speed. It's like, should I just get? Maybe I should only get the mining stuff. I need. I just need. Like, if I just put money into only, oh, I just need one more. Just the drill. Then I can just drill this stuff out quick enough to, you know, get thirty and the and the go ball and then boom, be done. Have I tried Sword and Dome? I haven't tried Sword and Dome ever yet. Not yet. You hate Sword and Dome so much. I have heard, the, uh, everybody says that it's not good. So, that's why I haven't tried it. I'm going with what everybody else says. the best feeling when you get three out of that. Which I could get from destroying that. Problem is the laser dome ticks all the boxes of strength. Comfort of use, versatility, and the other domes feel weak in compa comparison. Yeah. It's also just like a, a very basic concept. It's just like sh shoot the laser, you know. It's like you don't have you don't need to know much. I like the simplicity of it, and like that part of it reminds me of like missile command. It's like that's what like missile command's like, right? Like basically. I mean, I guess the other one's a little bit like missile command too. The uh, uh, the Tesla one. Because that's like sort of similar to that. You have to manually aim sword for flying. Well, you have to like kind of manually aim for this too. Hang on a second. Uh, so I get the cobalt or the prospecting. I mean, I, I probably want. Yeah, I'll get the prospecting because then I can find the gold here. Thanks, uh, five eighteen. It's easy to miss with the sword, yeah. I, I don't, I don't, maybe one day I'll try it, but like, I really don't even care, I just wanna like use this. All right, so I have 11. Man, if I can just get, I should just do nothing but just get the gold and just like, here, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Just bring all the gold. I, I like. I, hopefully, I can like end this like very quickly. See what happens. The fact that I'm getting this stuff too is helping. So the other ones are mining, right? Oh, wait a second. There's. testing games from GOG and Linux for when you drop Windows completely in the near future. <laughs> Everybody hates Windows, and I don't blame you. I don't really like it either. It's so funny. 
That's because we have gamers in my chat and people that like make games. So there's a lot of smart people in my chats. And smart people don't like Windows. That seems to be. <laughs> Definitely eyeing Steam OS as the replacement, too. Yeah. Alright, so I have 16 right now. All I need to do is get the 30 here. Alright, here they come. Game compatible compatibility is good on Linux, yeah. I also really like Mac. Uh, and I've used Linux a little bit now. And Linux is uh, has a lot of similarities to it. Um, I've used Mac a lot more than I've used Linux, but I, I, from the little that I've used Linux, I liked it. Um, and I've, I've, I've liked Mac, you know, for a long time. Mac was my computer that I used for, see, I, so, like, as a teenager, I had a PC, you know, back when we were, you know, in, like, the 90s. Cause I had like Windows 3.1 and all that, so my like first computer was a PC. Like back in back in those days, but then um, you know I play and I play like Warcraft and Doom and all that kind of stuff. But then once I went was in college, you know I had to start doing like a lot of video editing and all that. So I started using. Uh, first Mac was like the G4, the G3 or G4, forget if it was G3 or G4, but um, I really liked like OS 9 and all that, love, like that was, it was, man, I remember like when I first like started using like OS 9, to, to use OS 9 compared to like Windows at that time, Windows was just like so, just like crappy and disorganized, and I, that was my thing, like I was used to it, all through the 90s, I only used like Windows and stuff. So I, that's what I was used to, and then, you know, it was like, I don't know, like, 99 or 2000, I started using, like, OS 9, and I was like, wow, it's so much better, and it was just, things were so much like, easier and user-friendly to do, and I feel like, as time went on, it kind of got a little bit not quite as good, like, I feel like, like, the later ones, like, some of the OS 10, like, variations were kind of, like, not as nice and, like, uh... Um, like in, like the the OS nine had a real like ease of use to everything, and I I feel like it kind of got a little crappier later, but it never to the even close to the extent of like Windows or something. So like, you know, the later Mac stuff is it wasn't like as nice as OS nine, but it was still like even to to today, it's like using because I, I have a Mac I have a Mac over here, and. I, I prefer using the Mac still to this day, like over the PC, because like, I'm on the PC now, and it's just like, the Windows, there's always like pop-ups and crap, and they always want you to use like, uh, they always want you to do use one of their things that I don't want to use, you know, and, and Mac doesn't do that, it's just like, you have your like little folders and whatever, and it's the same thing pretty much that it's been since, you know, the year 2000, it's ba basically the same thing. And it's like, Windows is always, do you want to use this browser? Do you want to use this thing? And there's like all these like pop-ups and crap, and it's and the searching sucks, and it's just like, it's so many things about it that sucks. Microsoft is extraordinarily abusive to their user base. Mac costs more, but they don't turn computing into a torture machine for their users. Yeah. And there's like, they're always like, all of a sudden, like, like right now, there's nothing like going on, but tomorrow I might turn on the PC and it'll be like, bling, bling. And it's like things that I've never seen before. And I'm like, what is this? And they like add some like garbage to it that I gotta like figure out how to get rid of. And it's just like, sucks. This is sucky ass, like, um, it just sucks. It just sucks. And I think that I think searching for stuff on uh, on, on on Windows is like pathetic. You know. And I've heard that there, there's like there's other ways to like have like a better way to search 
that you can get like in addition to be able to like search better. But like what I'm saying is what Windows comes with for to search like is absolutely terrible. Like you you type in like okay, uh, I want to find. Um, the NES box art of Zelda, and then I type in Zelda box art, and then the file's on my computer, right? And it's like searching, searching, and it has to look through the entire computer before it finds it, where on Linux, I think, and on Mac, you type in ZE, and it's like, everything that's ZE instantly pops up, and then you just click it, and it's like already there. You ha you have it open, the, the you'd still be like sitting there waiting on window, you're like, all right, I'm waiting for it to like find it because it has to like search the whole thing. It's such garbage. Uh, March, thank you very much for the sub, and Baldy Bloke, thank you for the tier three sub from Baldy Bloke. Thank you very much, appreciate that. The very rare tier three sub. I have 17 right now. Okay, I'm gonna heal a little bit. I am gonna need to like heal a little bit. You have to sort your files for first for 29 hours. What on uh on Windows? Anyway, so like wait a second, I'm like close to gold here, right here, bam. Linux has locate command, which is uses pre-built index to find files instantly. It doesn't just crawl every hard drive. Yeah. It seems like Linux is kind of similar to Mac, or more similar to Mac, and that and then Windows is just like over here in the realm of like garbage. <laughs> like basically, you know, it's over in the garbage realm. Is this live? This is live? Is this live? It's live. I'm here. What? Sometimes I go on break and we have edited breaks and we do that so it's like some clips, some funny clips or whatever from old streams. And those parts are edited for you guys so that you have something to watch while I take a break for a minute instead of you just seeing nothing. So like those parts aren't like live, but it's like it's but it's new it's newly edited content. So it's like what more what more do you want? Get the 30. You look at porn? Okay. What does that have to do with talking about like Mac and Linux and all that? Also, you're the guy that plays a lot of this uh, Dome Keeper, too. So, okay, you look at a lot of porn. You just want to tell me that? Are you just admitting that to me right now? You just needed to like tell somebody that you look at a lot of porn? Okay. Fine. That's fine. Good. I hope you had a good. Uh, I hope you had a good time doing that today. Like, uh, like I don't know what to tell you. The porn went better. Oh, the porn went better than playing Dome Keeper. I mean, it's a hard game. Where Where are you at Do with Dome Keeper? Like, what happened with it? Did, it, did the game get like difficult and then you were like, I'm done? Okay, so I think I can leave now. So I, look, I, so I have 34 and then I have, I have everything I need. I have the iron and I have the cobalt. So I'm gonna leave the planet and I, I'm assuming I can get something from this. So let's, let's see what happens. Mike is creating his own dome keeper community. And we'll see. So do I get anything? Your new personal best, you improved. Your rank to eight, seven, five, nine. Okay. Unlock new element. Fix cobalt. There it is. Boom. So there's that. So so fix cobalt. You start with a cobalt stash, but the world 
worlds have no cobalt and you can't generate it. Uh, okay. I wonder how many they give you. Well, I'll do that next. So let's do that right now. So, once again, we're going to do prestige mode. We're going to proceed. So I've never done fixed cobalt, so there you go, fixed cobalt. I don't know if I'm going to want to do fixed cobalt, like, ultimately. Like, I probably want endless more so than that, but... It's good you unlock that, but it sounds not fun. Yeah, what is the miner one? I guess it says, concentrate on the most efficient mining in the world without monsters. La oh, I'm not going to want to do that either. I mean, maybe, like, I would do that... Um... Oh, wait, last 20 cycles? Wait, what is... The Concentrate the most efficient mining in the world without monsters. Last one. So in so wait though. Let's say you do that, and then so in within twenty cycles, you're supposed to what? Just mine as much as you can within twenty cycles. Might as well just unlock it com for completion's sake. Yeah, I guess I'll just get it. Here, I'll do fix. I'll try to fix cobalt like one like once. We'll we'll try it. But it seems stupid. It's probably going to be endless mode. Is I think is going to be the one I'm going to want. I guess last twenty cycles, so it's relatively short. Yeah, but there's no monsters though, so that seems almost makes it seems like perfect. I bet Mike would like Hyper Light Drifter. So I've streamed that before, and I did like it. Like I liked it, but I didn't like love it. I remember I forget what it was, but there was something about the map in that game. That I that bothered me. The map was like weird. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I I I did like like it. Like it was our it was all right. But I wasn't like there was I had some issues with it, and there were some things like I wanted that I felt like could be a little better. Could have been like fixed. Um, you know, it was like, I, I mostly liked it though, but like here and there, there was a few things and I was like, eh, I don't really care for this part, I don't really care for that part. But like, yes, over, overall, I did like that game. Mike's brain is an encyclopedia of things he hated about games. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, I remember that, that I did like it though. I liked the combat a lot in that game. And I like the graphics and stuff. But I don't know, I'm very particular. Like you know. What about Hotline Miami? People always mention that game to me. It's like these like top-down games. There was another one like recently. It was like that. Um, I can't think of the name of it. These like top-down games where you're going around. I liked the one I liked was uh, it, the game that was like similar to that. And I, I think it's, you know Hotline Miami like did it like first or whatever. But it was uh, the Hong Kong Massacre one. I really liked that one. I like those type of games. I actually wish there was more of that. These like top-down like sort of. Whatever, pixel pixel graphic top down they don't have to like, be like pixel graphic it could be like modern graphics too but but it's like the top down where there's like doors and you're like hiding behind doors and it's like the stealth where you knock down the door and shoot the guys in the room and all, and all that um I like I've tried Hotline Miami before and it was just sort of isn't there a second one too? Maybe I need to try the second one. I, I can't remember because it's been like years since I tried it, but there was something about it that like really bothered me. And then I played the Hong Kong Massacre one and it, it was like that was like, it like fixed some of the, the, I can't remember right at the moment right now what it was. I'd have to like play it again. There was something that bothered me about it. I don't remember what the hell it was. Something with the, I don't know. Maybe I have to like mess with the controls or something. Anyway, um, let me go back here. Hotline Miami 2 is great. Is this is the second one better than the first one? In that case, because that's not always the case. You know, sometimes like the first game's better. Like which one's better? I will. I'll sit and like mess with that. Because I know people like always mention it, and I just never really. I bought that game like a long time ago, and I played it for like a few minutes, and I was just kind of like, eh. 
I don't know, it just didn't like really capture me, but I didn't I also really didn't give it much of a chance at all. So I should like play it again. Or maybe play like the sequel or something. You preferred the first one. The second one is better, but there's more gimmick levels. The, maybe does it have a, like a lot of like meme jokes and stuff like that? I always don't like games. Oh, there, okay, listen. So there was you know you know how I like rogue likes and stuff like that. Um, there was one recently that I was like, oh, this game seems like really cool and really up my alley, and it was called Neon Abyss. And I started playing it, and I was like, oh, yeah, this game is really cool. It was really fun. And I started playing it, and I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to stream this game. But I was, I was just, like, playing it for a little while before I was, like, thinking of streaming it. And then I got to this boss, like, the first boss or whatever. And the first boss was, like, it was, t- it was TikTok. It was supposed to be, like, you know, on your cell phone, how you go on TikTok, like, the social media thing. And the boss, like, was TikTok. And I was just, like... This is supposed to be like a funny, like like a modern, like haha. Oh, it's t- oh look at that, it's TikTok, and it just made me. I shut the game off. I was just like, I don't like this. I don't want these kind of. I don't want a game with those kind of jokes in it. Like I want to just play like a more serious. This is why I like retro games so much. Because when you when you go and you play like. A, I don't know, Batman on NES or something. There's not some stupid meme that comes up that's, you know, I feel like a lot of modern games, they have to stick in, like, oh, uh, YOLO, or, like, just, like, stuff that I just really don't like. You know what I mean? Like, these games, and they're always they're always putting in little, like, like internet phrases, you know, like the, like phrases that get popular on the internet and like stuff like that, and I really despise that kind of crap. Stupid kid lingo, somebody said. Yeah, what are some uh, examples of stuff like that? The meme stuff was a problem since the '90s. Work in designs used to insert really bad references. Yeah, like the references and stuff. When games, ha- like I can maybe, I'm not gonna say that I can't ever handle that. Um, like maybe if if it's like done really well, but like usually I just don't want to ever see that. I just think it's like late, like so like lame. You just have all these fucking like meme shit and like just jokes. Somebody said, I know, bro, for real, for real. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Like if, dude, if I put on a game and some character is like, Bussin' for real, for real. I'm just gonna turn the game off. Like, I'm not gonna play it. If I get to the boss and the boss is TikTok, like, I'm gonna turn it off. You know? I'm not playing that crap. Like, just make it, like, a good game and stop sticking stupid, like, meme into your, you know? Videos, too. Stop sticking, like, the memes into your video. Like, I hate all that stuff. The game should create the memes, not reference them. Yeah, exactly. You don't remember it being like that, just a simple Miami Vice murder. Okay, it's fine. I'm, I, I haven't played enough of it. I don't remember. I'm not saying that Hotline Miami is like that. I, I want to go back and like look at it. I'm just saying that a lot of these like indie games do that kind of thing, I've noticed. And that really does not appeal to me. So like, I, you guys are like in here. So when you're, you're in here often, you're like recommending games to me and stuff. You should know that about me. Like, if you're going to recommend a game, don't recommend me stuff that's, like, got a bunch of memes and stuff in it. Like, I hate that. Like, I'll just turn the game off. It just makes, it makes me it makes me angry and sad. And, like, <laughs> and then I'm just going to not play it, you know? Just, like, really despise all that. Crap. Hotline Miami is definitely worth a second shot. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with it again. I will. I'll see. Games aren't supposed to make you feel bad about being alive. Yeah, right? Exactly. Exactly. They're supposed to make you, you know, it's, a, it's an escape. And they're supposed to, you know, make you have fun while you're playing it. And it's like... Some of these games are just stupid jokes that they fucking put in there. And there's so many games out there to try and play that it's just like, well, if there's 8 million games out there on the market for me to try, like, I don't even have, I, I don't even have enough time in my life to play all the games that I want to play. 
why am I gonna waste my time with some game that's like throwing like references in my face, like stupid references of things? It's like I'll just turn the game off and play something better. All right, let's grab. I'm gonna get the carry capacity, then I'll do the next drill. I need like a little bit of carry capacity at least to get this gold back. Faith, okay. What kind of game is it? For real, your nuts are busting. I don't even I don't even know what any of that means. I miss when people used to talk like people. Like, if somebody says that to me, I'm just gonna, like, I would just walk away. I just leave and be like, all right, well, I'm not gonna talk to this person, you know? <laughs> Mike old, Mike really old. Why don't you say it again? Mike old, Mike really old. Old man yells at cloud. Mike old. We get, I am old. You're right. You are right. You are correct. That is correct. I am old. What about it? Thank God, because I'm not, you know, saying bussin' and, you know, all that crap. Thank God I'm old. I got to experience the 1980s and the 1990s. Thank God I'm old. I grew up with the NES. Thank God. Good. Life was good then. You could work at a shoe store and have, a ha like, a big house and a wife and kids and support them. Like Al Bundy. <laughs> so yeah, I am old. And I'm happy that I'm old. Because I'm glad I'm not growing up in this era. Sucks. <laughs> it's like, seriously. Dude, when I was growing up, we had Unhappily Ever After. What do they have now? Whatever it is, it's not Married with Children and Unhappily Ever After. Thank God I'm old. <laughs> Thank God. So yeah, go ahead and say it again. Mike, Mike old, Mike old. Yeah, yeah I am. Thank God. So all the rest of you guys who are, you know, in your 30s or 40s, don't you feel the same way? Don't you look around and you're like, all this shit sucks now? You know? And not everything sucks. Like, some things, some things are good, but, like, you know? I just feel, I just go around, I'm like, man, compared to how it was, compared to how things were in the 90s, things are not as good as they used to be. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to be all Mr. Like Doom and Gloom. There, like, there's there's things that are good now, but like, I don't know though. In general, like overall, I feel like things used to be better. Nobody knows how to take a joke anymore. Yeah, I'm like seriously. It's like you can't you can't joke about everything. Every and everything's got to be like ultra PC, and they don't realize it's like man, it's just a joke. You know, it's like calm down. They don't they can't handle that. They can't handle just a joke. They want to be able to complain about it on Twitter, where they're the heroes. All right, hang on a second. I like this background on this stage. Right, 
I do have to heal a little bit. All right, I'm not like getting gold as quickly as I want. I might have to speed up. I'm going like too slow. as I'm gonna get and then I need the rest to get oh I only need I only need third oh because there is the cobalt I forgot so I don't need to put the cobalt in okay that's right I forgot about that oh that means I could survive longer I don't need to like be like hunting for the cobalt really okay that's gonna help oh here we go perfect I need the carry capacity up though I too am a boomer, Mike. See, I'm I'm like Generation X though. I'm not quite that old, but that'd be fine. I could be. All right, we gotta get we gotta get thirty. We need twenty more, and I'm done. Maybe AI isn't the answer. Oh yeah, you think? Yeah. Oh maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not. Just, just maybe. We need to go back to paper and pencils. Cause what they do in schools, where it's like, okay, you're in school, and then they're like, okay, we want you to write a report or or something, and the kid just goes, okay, and they go home and they have the AI like just write it for them and they hand it in. So it's like, how do you? How do you get them to not do that? How do you get them to not do that is you go back to paper and pencil the way we had it back then. And then you're like, okay, you gotta do a book report. Okay, well, they had to write it on paper pencil. And you know what, you gotta do it in class too. And they take the phone away. And then you actually have to really write it, you know? Cause else every, everybody's gonna turn into an idiot because they're just gonna be like, oh, I hit the button and then the computer wrote it for me. That's not good. So we gotta go back to paper, paper and pencil. All paper, yeah, write a paper, report, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what we called it. I mean, when I was in school, we called it, you know, write your paper. I guess they don't even say that anymore. Because kids would be like, what's paper? You know? <laughs> Is this, is this the ult ultimate, like, Mike is old stream? We ought to go back to paper and pencils. I believe it, though. I do. I think we should. I don't care. It makes me sound old. Good. It's fine. I hope it does. Does it make me sound like somebody who grew up in a great era? Darn. What a shame that is. Man, Transformers was on TV. I'd like to go back to 1985, 1986. Those are the good, those are the good days. Love you some Zelda 2. Some Zelda 2, 1987. Series, yeah, all that shit, man.
you're waiting for people to invent Skloon. It's invented. It's on the NES. What do you mean you're waiting for people to invent Skloon? Doesn't even make any sense. I could put Skloon on right now. It's invented. I'm waiting for people, somebody to invent Mega Man. It's like, that doesn't even make sense. What do you mean? You want something to be invented that's already invented? <laughs> like what? In nine, wait, what? In 1985? Oh, you're pretend. You're. I think he's trying to pretend like he is in the past, and he's waiting for Skloon to come out because it wasn't released yet. Is that what you mean? Now I understand. Are you not getting bored of this game? Um, I'll tell you what. I, I'm I'm super bored of it. Um, I was just playing it still just to make you angry. That was the reason. No, not really. Um, I'm not bored of it because I like it. It's fun. That's called a joke, by the way. Don't get your panties in a bundle. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's 30 right there. Done. Boom. All right, so I unlocked all the prestige things. I guess it's good that I did it. So that every time I go into it, I'm not... <laughs> you like that score? <laughs> <laughs> Just ended on that. Oh, my final score of 16. Yeah, that's great. All right, so I got the minor variant. All right, so everything's unlocked. Which I think that mode probably sucks, so I don't even care. I just wanted it unlocked. So now I feel like I can actually play it. So there you go. There we go. Countdown, fixed cobalt, minor, and endless. Now that that's done, I don't know that I care to even try minor. I don't, I don't think I care about either one of those. So the real question is about countdown and endless. Like, which, like maybe I'd go between these two. How could I get my panties in a bundle if I'm wearing them? Your comment makes no sense. Oh, but yeah, but in quotes, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's is that somebody's like retort to me? Oh yeah, I get sword mode. Oh, this, well, that's not a mode, that's this. So there's sword dome, which I don't really care. The only ones I'd probably, like Tesla maybe I'd get into, and then laser, laser dome is what I usually do. And then I'm probably gonna be the, I'm gonna just do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna do like prestige, and I'm gonna do endless. That's like, that's what I wanna do. All right, so let's just do that. Let's just start it. DS9, you like it better than Voyager? Um, I mean, I like them both, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna have that discussion. They're, they're both good shows. I wouldn't want to not have any of them. You know? And, pe and people do that with, like, the universe. People do that with everything, I guess. They're like, oh, uh, you know... Dracula's better than Frankenstein, or the the Wolfman is better than uh, Invisible Man, or something like that. And it's like, but like they're all pretty good movies, and I don't want to not have one of them. Just how about this? Just watch them all, and don't worry about it. Just enjoy them. Like maybe maybe one of them is like technically a little better than the other one, but it's like, okay. So do, do you want one of them to like not exist? Like what is the goal here? You don't hear people whining about it much anymore. No, Voyager. Oh, with like Voyager. Yeah, I guess like people used to be more because it was it was so um, geared towards next generation. Maybe maybe through the years and years and years and years that have gone by of rewatches, 
of the shows, maybe people actually realize, like, oh, Next Generation actually has a lot of bad episodes, and Voyager has a lot of good episodes. They had they had enough time to really sit and watch it at this point, so I think it kind of like evened out. Because I think there was a point where people were like just like only just into Next Generation, and then like oh screw the screw Voyager and the other show, and then they finally watched them, and they were like oh these shows are also good. You know, they ha- it took them watching it. I think that's my guess because <laughs> they probably hadn't really watched much of it. And another problem is with Voyager, people that, like, try Voyager, they might watch the first season, and the first season is not very good. So until you get to, like, the later, like, Voyager, once, like, 7 of 9 and stuff's on it, then it, like, you know, then it gets, like, real good. And so if you've seen those, you're like, oh, the show is really good. At least Voyager had... Like an awesome season finale. DS9 doesn't have that. Yeah, that's true. I think Next Generation does. Um, I think I, I really like the uh, All Good Things episode. I, I always thought that was a really great. They should have just re- truly ended it there. Imagine if the Next Generation they never did them. They should have never did those movies or anything else. They just should have never made Picard or any of that. They should have just literally All Good Things and then never do another thing. That's what Next Generation should have done. They w- could have went out on that. Because that was like the perfect high note, you know, to go out on. They should have just never, ever did another thing. Like, they, they ended that show just, like, perfectly. You like Tapestry a lot? Yeah, it's a great one. I always like that one, too. I, I mean, there's a lot of great... Yeah, next generation episodes. This Q show up on Picard. He does. It's stupid. Really stupid. Have have I heard about this Twitch new feature? Wait, what what Twitch new feature? What are you talking about? Double stream, double messages. What? Double stream? What does that mean? Does anybody know what he's talking? What do you mean double stream? What's double stream? Are you talking about like if I like also like air this on YouTube at the same time or whatever? Are you talking about that? Times two stream, Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, I know. I know you can like you can. What is it? Multicast or whatever, right? Is that what it's called? When you stream on two things, is that what you're talking about? When two when two streamers can be on at the same time. Wait, this is when two streamers can be on the same stream at the same time. Simulcasting, I must say. Two streamers can be on the same stream at the same time. Oh, you're talking about like. If I have a friend and they're streaming and I'm on their stream and they're on my stream or whatever, yeah, right. No, I yeah, I know that that's like a thing. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, what? What? I'm gonna play like um, Pitfall or something, and then they're gonna play Pitfall. Like, how's it gonna work? I feel like that works if you're. That's like a. That's like a. You play Fortnite or something and you do that, right? But like, I'm not really, dude. I'm pl- I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing like uh, Truxton or something. How would it work with Truxton? <laughs> Mike did an experimental stream a long time ago before that feature existed. So Mike is even further ahead of the game than that. He's talking about guest streamers. Oh, you mean like having another person there? Yeah, you, you, I, so I did a show called James and Mike Mondays, and like we we played games together. Actually, to go prior before that, you know what I used to do? That was really crazy. I used to go over to my friend's house across the street, and like we play like you know Super Nintendo together. 
But that was cool, too. Like, <laughs> there you go, wow, crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? There was this crazy feature where I went over to my friend's house and we just like played games and it, it, was, it wasn't, it was a feature where you weren't on the internet. We just played games for fun because it was the 80s and 90s and none of this garbage existed. There, th how about that feature? What are they gonna employ that feature on Twitch? Play, play games with your friends, not on stream. And you sit on a couch and like, like his mom has like, uh, I don't know, popcorn for you. Or whatever. That, that was a cool feature. I like, I like when the, the, his mom would like make like a peanut butter sandwich or something like that. And then we're playing uh, uh, Street Fighter 2. That, that feature was awesome. <laughs> yeah, tw how about this? Twitch can implement a feature, exactly, to play video games by yourself and not put yourself in front of the public. Like, you just play video games by yourself and you're not on the internet at all. You're just enjoying video games on your own. I want Twitch to try to implement that. That would be an interesting thing for them to try to figure out how to implement that. They should work on that. How would that work? Figure that one out. That's what I'm waiting for. Imagine that. Imagine that I could stream, but I wasn't on stream. I could stream, but but there wasn't a chat but I was I, wa I was still streaming I, I, I am I am totally still streaming but I'm not streaming <laughs> that's what I want them to figure out <laughs> that's oh they said the chat says oh that's gonna be a tough one hmm. is it I don't know they should they're smart though they'll probably figure that out I have faith. I have faith that they'll figure it out. <laughs> here, let's see how much. I have six. All right, what's the next thing I can do here? Uh, I can put it into that. What do I need to do? I I need the I need the meter. I have to have that. I'm gonna need this because I'm gonna need to repair the base. Uh, da da da. And all, by the way, this is all like gonna go onto the leaderboard, I think. I hope. And then I'm, oh, I'm gonna need the, oh, I have stun laser, but I don't have the auto cannon. I could just put something into the stun in me. Oh, I could do this right now. This is the speed. This is the automatic thing. So I'm gonna do the speed. I'm gonna do the automatic thing. So I have that already. All right, so that's good. Yeah, and as I'm playing this, if you're watching and you want to give suggestions on what I should do as far as what you think the best thing for me to implement is next, that's where you guys can totally, like, whatever, be backseat gamers, because I actually like when you give suggestions, because a lot of times I'm, like, doing this and I'm, like, I don't even know what to do as far as, like, what to put in next, so I, I don't mind at all if you're like, oh, I think you, the next good thing would be put, you know, put iron into this or that, or this, you know, put iron into the spire instead of putting money into this or that. Like, I could definitely use help in that respect. The guy says, hey, we'll try upgrading things, the guy says. Have you tried upgrading, Mike? That's a good thing to try to do. Smart ass. You smart ass. <laughs> there here we go. You smart ash. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Remember, hey, dude. Bom, 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 bom. Wait, can I get that going? Let's see if we can do that. Oh my god, that'll make me so happy.
break of day. <laughs> Dude, oh, hold on a second. The title screen to Hey Dude would be an awesome, like, Mike Matei Live, like, logo with the fucking horse thing in it. I, we gotta do that. The Hey Dude logo. That would be a fucking good one. And when I play, I'll, I'll do a stream of, like, I'll use it when I do, like, Sunset Riders and, like, uh, Gunsmoke and, 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 like, anything like that. Like, I always, like, use it. By the way, I was thinking of stream Gunsmoke again. I, like, really like Gunsmoke. I mean, I'd probably use it for a lot of games. That's I don't know if you notice. I, like, tend to do that. Like, if I'm playing a shmup, I have one that's sort of a shmup logo. I have, I have a Zelda one if I'm playing, like, a Zelda game. If I play TMNT, I have a TMNT logo. So. Till the break of day. <laughs> oh, my God. If I would do a stream together with him, listen. I don't. It, I do. I do streams sometimes on uh, with Aaron. Like I'll do. I do streams with my girlfriend. Um. I don't really stream with other people that much. I'll stream with some of my like real like life friends if they're like not doing anything like on occasion. Like sometimes I do stream like Ryan or something or like, you know. But like, like James or something. But I don't really, I don't know you. I'm sure you're great and everything. But like, I uh, if I stream with anybody, it's gonna be somebody that I know in like real life. I'm not really. It's, I'm, no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But feel free to you know hang out in the chat and talk and. Uh, we can be, we can be chat room friends, okay? <laughs> Rejected. I mean, I'm not, like, trying to... I don't know, man. I don't... You know, I'm not streaming with some random person off the internet that, that I don't know. It's just not happening. I tell you what. Tell you what. Yeah, let, let's do it. I now only stream with Alex Jetson. We, we stream. We're going to stream all the time. I tell you what, Alex. I'm going to come over to your house. Um, here's the deal. You get your streaming set up. I'll drive over. You send me, you send me your address. Drive, drive. I'll drive over. I'll come over, and I, I'm gonna stream with you. But here's the deal: I'm gonna stream with you um, every day from now on on your channel. We're not gonna stream on my channel. We're gonna stream on your channel, your computer. And since I'm gonna have to like be at your place because since we're streaming every day, I'm gonna live with you, okay? Just like sloth and chunk. So I now live with you, so you, I, you're going to have to take care of me. So your streaming career, it's going to be your streaming career. It's not mine. I'm just going to be there. So if you have a two-player game or something, I'll play the game with you. You're going to have to support me and feed me, bathe me. Uh, I'm going to be, I'll be sleeping. Uh, I'm going to take your bed. I don't know where you're going to sleep, but I'll be sleeping in your bed now. Um, so how does this deal sound for you? But yeah, we'll do it. Sounds good. I'll be there. So this is apparently, this is my last stream. Uh, I'll, I'll, I, from now on, I'll be streaming with uh, Alex, this random person from my chat. And uh, he'll be supporting me from now on and feeding me. And also, when I say feeding me, I mean, I want you to make my food for me by hand. wash balls. You also have to wash my balls. 
I, I also I like my asshole washed like at least twice a day. So you have to do that. There's gonna be a lot of demands I'm gonna have. You're gonna have to wash my balls. You're gonna have to make my food. You're gonna have to do everything. But if you're still okay with that, Oh, you also have to let me win in every game. Not that I wouldn't win anyway, but just in case there, one day there's like a game we're playing and you feel like, you know, you might win around, you're gonna, don't, you can't do that. Like, I have to win. I always have to win. If I ever lose, the deal's off and I leave. And you know what happens if I leave? Then you won't, you won't be washing my balls anymore. So, it's going to be hefty work, too, because I got some big balls, so you're going to have to get one of those, like, big sponges, okay? Also, I want you to look like you're enjoying it, too. Like, if I look down and you don't look happy, uh, I'm, that's it. The deal's off. We're, we're going to make a contract, and it's going to have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, things on there that have to be checkmarked, and if you don't do it, it's, the deal's off, Okay? So when I look down and you're washing my balls, you better have a big smile. You better have a big smile on your face. <laughs> you, better, you better, you better have a big smile. All right. So what do I need next? I want. I only have six gold. I'm gonna call it gold iron. Still here. I don't even see him. Are you still in here? He put a bunch. So the response. The, by the way, I said all that, and he said the response. The response I got was he put a bunch of emotes of the baby from dinosaurs into the chat. That's your response to everything I just said. The emote of the baby from dinosaurs. Not, not the mama. Again, again. Well, that's very similar to how you, it's going to be with you cleaning my balls. You're going to have to do it again and again. So get used to it. So I guess that was a very appropriate uh, emote to put into the chat. 20 daily. Um, the asshole twice daily. The balls, probably once is good, once a day. He is saying he wants you to sit in a high chair and whack him on the head with a frying pan while you scream in a baby voice, in a shrill baby voice. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a real good time. day, wash your balls by night, what a good life. You, you guys like that he's like, he's like down with this? You know, the, the idea in my head was like, I was going to be like, well, this guy's obviously like not going to like want to wash my a fucking asshole, you know, every single day, multiple times a day. That, that, that's kind of like how I thought I was going to get out of this. But he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, let me in there. I didn't think that was going to be your response, I gotta tell ya. You think this is going to be a hard challenge? What, to wash my balls? He thinks you're joking, he's going to be in for a big surprise. Yeah, wait, wait until he's actually doing it. And, and then we're, we're like three months into it, and he's like, he's like, he's like washing my asshole, you know? And he's like, um, I, 
you know, when we were in that Twitch chat that day, I, I actually got to tell you, I really wasn't, I really wasn't actually serious. I thought we were just, like, joking around. And now, now it's, like, three months of me, like, cleaning your asshole. And I just realized that this isn't funny anymore. And I actually really don't want to be doing this. But at that point, guess what's going to happen? Too bad, because it's a binding contract. So, you better think about it. <laughs> All right, so hang on. Uh, what am I going to do here? I want, I want, I want, I want, I want a lot of things here. I want, do I want the drill? I get the laser. I feel like I'm not having that hard of a time yet with the laser stuff, so I'm going to do... I'm gonna do the drill and the speed right now is what I'm gonna do. Wish I could get the proximity thing. Boom, 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 boom. You also have to be the power bottom. What's that? I want that astral polish to mirror sheen. Hang on a second. Go, go. He's, this is gonna hit me. This is gonna hit me. Ugh. Dude, those things take so much damage. Too vulgar for you? Oh. <laughs> you wanted this to be less vulgar? I was thinking we could make it more vulgar. I wasn't happy. I was like, when is this gonna get vulgar? <laughs> You're saying you want it to be a little less. Okay. Play Samurai Showdown with me, not all this assholes related stuff. Yeah, but the other option was that we don't do anything. So this is this is the options he gets. Do not look that up, Mike. Don't don't look up what you're suggesting a game to me. Second. Okay, so I need. Uh, what am I gonna do right now? I get uh, firing stamina. Need firing stamina. Stun strength. I don't know. Oh yeah, the in inventory management. Like maybe I should. I should. I'm gonna put one into that because that's like the where it, like repairs the dome for me. That's enough. You think you're you're gonna vomit now? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. You, we've got a contract. Sure, don't give a fuck. I mean, that's for sure. <laughs> you're, you're right. I sure don't. I sure don't. I sure don't give no fuck. Who cares? 
cares? It's, you know, it's like, we're all gonna live and die. It's like, whatever. It's not that I care. So yeah, you're right, I don't give a fuck. All right, what else can I do? I need, okay, I have seven. I don't, what am I gonna do next? Uh, pro I'm gonna do this laser next, probably. You will wash King Mike's asshole no matter how clean it gets. Oh yeah, like my asshole, the, like it'll probably be like already be clean because it, it's like even it was already just washed, but it'll just be like several hours later. And I'm like, all right, time to wash my asshole again. And then you're gonna be like, oh, but it's like already clean. I'm like, yeah, and get the sponge. Go get it. Why do you need the man to do it when you could just buy a bidet? Because the bidet doesn't have feelings. I want somebody that's down there and they're miserable and they hate the job that makes that is how you get your the bidet does a good job but if you want your asshole to be like really clean as clean as possible then you want another man down there like with tears in his eyes <laughs> that's how you, that's how you clean an asshole <laughs> If, if you don't see tears, your asshole's not getting the right kind of attention. Let me tell let me tell you. Make a home out on the range and come along. Everybody's got to sing the song. Singing. You big guy, you big guy, what? Like the cowboy say. Sing it again now. I need to watch that whole show. There's like, I want to watch that and I want to watch, what was the other one? Uh, uh, out of this world, which is like, ba uh, that out of this world thing came up because this game looked, seems like the Super Nintendo game out of this world, but there was also like that show, I guess it was 80s or early 90s, or it had to be like early 90s. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna get this laser next. Does the cat do anything? Um, it might maybe meow when the enemies are coming. Maybe. I think I think it might actually do nothing. I feel like most likely it does like literally nothing. That's the only thing I could think that it, maybe it does. Or maybe it's just coincidental that I've heard the cat meow. Here, let's see if it happens. Okay, the enemy is about to come. Yeah, well, it just meowed, so it might. Maybe it meows right when the enemies are coming. It, it actually did meow, so maybe I'm right about that. I think that's it. It does like a little and the enemies come. I think that's it. <laughs> you think it happens every time? Yeah, I, I think it does. Hang on. Till the break of day.
not a lot. Ooh, another thing. Huh. Oh, it's one of these. Can I get both of these back? <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm gonna try. Can't believe some bozo thought he was gonna stream with Mike, the King. Now that's somebody I would stream with though. Bozo, the Bob Bell Bozo. Crusty the Clown is based on. Today we're gonna play a grand prize game! All right, here we go. We're gonna get two things here. I've never brought back two of those at the same time. All right, so. Do I even want either one of these? I don't think I don't think so. Or I could get dome hole hardening, maybe. I'll sure. I'll get it. Dome hole hardening. Oh, spire, sure. So two different things. Till the break of day. Let's see. Get the health. I'm gonna do well, there's the health and there's the drill. Oh yeah, the, I wanted this. Oh, I don't have enough. Fine, I'll do the speed. like to stream with Clarence Nash as well. Oh my god. You know that Donald Duck um, the voice he did was originally, he like, he did like bird voices and he did like, it was supposed to be like a goat and then Walt Disney was like, that sounds more like a duck. He's like, I want you to voice the duck. And he's like, and he's like, that's my goat voice. And he's like, yeah, well, it doesn't sound like a goat. It sounds like a duck. And he's like, oh, all right. <laughs> like the Donald Duck voice was like supposed to be like, it's like actually a really bad impression of a goat, actually. And then <laughs> I guess that's why Walt Disney was like, <laughs> had to be there. Cause he's like, yeah, yeah, this doesn't sound at all like a, uh, like a goat, man. That's a, that's a duck, dude. I did a blog post about like uh, Donald Duck. You, Donald Duck came from the, the first thing with Donald Duck was there was an old book, like long time before the shorts. Dis, Disney did a children's book and it has Donald Duck in there, but it's not all about Donald Duck. It's about um, like all of the, of the all the different characters. Like there was a uh, horse, horse collar, or whatever, and like all the different characters. And it was just like it was just a one character that was like in there, but that was like the first thing that was Donald Duck before the cartoons. Necromancy to bring back Mo Howard to life just for one day so he can stream Life Force with me. <laughs> yeah, Life Force. I just thought that was funny because it's like, what's the, what's the most like, it's like, doesn't even make sense. I'm sure he like, never played a video game, you know, ever. So it's like, I think of these like old time, like, it's like, how about, how about this game? It's like, uh, let's bring back uh, Betty Davis and she'll play Dome Keeper with me. Like, what would she think of this? She'd look at this and probably be like, what am I looking at? Because they've like, never even saw video games before. 
you know, or I'm going to play, like, I'm going to play Turtles in Time with John Wayne, you know? <laughs> like, that'll be the day. <laughs> Is that what he would, he would say that? Hey, hey, John Wayne, do you want to play Turtles in Time? That'll be the day. So far, we've talked about um, Gabby Hayes and uh, John Wayne on this stream. They're asking, they're at, and they're, the people here are asking me if I'm gonna do like simulcasting, and I'm like, yeah. So John Wayne, um, <laughs> and they're like, they're like, who? Aren't you gonna play Fortnite, Mike? right now oh I could I could have already bought it damn it I'm stupid I didn't realize I could have bought it already damn well I'll get it now that's thanks <sighs> me dumb me stupid Is it true that he could not ride a horse? You learned that in Tiny Toons. I mean, there was all the movies where he's... Dude, one of the movies, he's riding a horse down a snowy hill through snow. Like, real snow. Like, I don't... Maybe he wasn't, like, a great horseman or something, but I've definitely seen the dude on a horse doing some crazy stuff before. So, like... I think so. Maybe they're make, well, what part of Tiny Toons was that? They make some kind of joke that he couldn't ride a horse. Like, pretty sure he could ride a horse. <laughs> Cause I've seen him doing it. All right, let's get the. Let's, what can I get? I'm gonna get the speed. I guess I'll fix the. Fix this a little better. It's because they want to take him down a peg. Oh, they, oh he, he couldn't even ride a horse. Yeah. It's like people are like, oh, well, Elvis didn't even play guitar or whatever. It's like, yeah, but, uh, but he got pussy every day. How's that? Does that fix your problem for you? the 90s, please. They want John Wayne ride the they dick. They want John Wayne ride they dick. Probably. They probably want John Wayne ride they dick. Who doesn't want John Wayne ride they dick?
Have I ever played Ninja Baseball Batman arcade beat em up from 1993? Uh, who here was in the stream when I streamed that game? Probably a bunch of people were here when I've streamed that game before. What, man? You don't remember every single game that I've streamed? I'm offended. Most people here have an encyclopedic knowledge of every game that I've streamed, so... You should, too. I expect you to know this already. No, I'm just messing with you. Uh, yes, I've streamed it before. It's fun. As far as uh, sports-related things go, that's a sports-related thing that I like. <laughs> if you want to count that as a sports thing. Bat and Bat Boy. Switch. Mike invented streaming Ninja Baseball Batman. I mean, like, dude, Ninja Baseball Batman was an early stream I did. I probably did that in, like, 2015 or something, or 2016. It was, like, such a long time ago. And also, like, I streamed it again, like... I don't know, a year ago or something. I was playing, I think they have it on the Mister, and I think I played it on that, because I was just playing stuff on the Mister, so it's like, you know, I've definitely played quite a bit of that. Anyway, all right, so the next thing we gotta do. So we got the Spire, we got Firing Stamina, all this. Um, I should probably up all that more. Should I do that? Should I do the Spire stuff? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do some of the spire stuff to make this thing not like worthless. Why not? It's like every five minutes or something, right? That's like the god item. So, okay, it's in the purple. And it's like... the sec It's the second one down in the purple. Shit. That's gonna happen every time? How many am I gonna lose here? Come on. I'm gonna make this trench bigger. to go again, but maybe I can pop off some of these things. Alright. Do, 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 do. Alright, so I have 13. Anything else I can do to help myself? I can get the next drill. I'm gonna get the next drill. This is like a pretty good run so far. And by the way, I know I haven't been giving a lot of stuff to the prestige thing yet. I probably haven't given anything. Is there anything I could give? Not really right now, but when I have more, like I'll pop some stuff into that. But like later, I guess. Yay, the little guy's helping me. So like right here would be the thing. So we'll try to like look every once in a while and see when that's gonna come back. Does anybody know when that like super item comes back? Is it like every, somebody was saying every five minutes when I played this before, but I don't know if it's entirely true. How long is the stream already? Three and a half hours. All right, it's not too bad. I, I'm not gonna stream this for eighty bazillion hours tonight. 
like this like maybe this will be like my last run if I die like right now like I'll do like another but I'm not gonna do like 8 million runs of this I'll do like one or two more or something and then that's it so just to let you know I'm not gonna play this for like 700 hours tonight spaces miss a spot. Uh, I don't know, would it? I could, I could be doing it wrong. Alright, I gotta get back. I should get that line that comes up because it pops up when I need to get back. Come on, hurry up. I'm like way late this time. This is bad. I'm gonna get like anything I can right now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this shield. Get some stuff to help me here. I might be a little too weak. already on the leaderboards. I just got to the point where like I'm gonna start doing that so I will we'll say I like I have like a score on there but it's nothing good. Like I, I just got into like I'm gonna start doing that. This is literally the run where I'm like starting the process of like alright I'm gonna start going for like leaderboard stuff. I mean this might end up like a garbage run. I don't know who knows. I might do really badly but like, this is my first like time really trying to do that like ever so so not like really yet. But from this point on, like, I feel like now I'm finally kind of like actually playing the game because it's like, this is kind of where I wanted to get to, where I can start going for like this like leaderboard stuff. And like I said, I'm not trying to like get the number one spot on the leaderboard or anything like that. I just want to like get, I'd like to get some kind of decent spot on the leaderboard and then then I'll probably like move on to another game until the multiplier comes out. Oh, there's the thing. Came back. See, that wasn't five minutes. Really, I should get the carry capacity up when I can do that, because it's not great. Then retire as champion. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, that'd be nice, right? Carry capacity, I need 12. Nice, I can get it. All right, it was just enough to. Sure, I've, I've read the magazine before. You can probably stop at the 40 drill if you survive long enough. Um, Calic 3. Are you, do you play this game? Is the New Jersey Devil real or not? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it 
wasn't that wasn't that a uh, what was that on? There was like a is it PlayStation? There there's like a New Jersey Devil game, isn't there? Or Jer- isn't there a game called Jersey Devil? I forget what it's on. I feel like it's PlayStation. There should be a fizz, and I forget I forget what it's on. There is a there is a Jersey Devil game on something though. It is PlayStation. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I ever played it. If I did, I don't really remember it. All right, so. Maybe I should just save up for now, because the next thing to do would be like get the get these two things right. I mean, I I know I know I need so I need all this. I need that. I need that. Um, so I can just save up my money for now. Azalyn 22, I am. I told you I'm like obsessed with this right now. This is my game. This is my game of the moment. Maybe my game of the year. Do you think? So this is 2024. And we're in February. You think there'll be a game that'll like that I'll be more into than this, like for the rest of the year? That's new. I mean, like obviously, like you know, you know me. I'll be back playing, um, whatever. NES games and stuff, but I mean, as far as, like, I wonder if there'll be another, like, new game or something that came out in the last, like, year or two that I'll, like, find that I'll get more into than this. That'd be great. I'd love to find something that new, that you know, that I'm, like, as into. I have, like, hard, like a hard time, like, finding newer games that I really, really, really like, and um, I'm so happy that, like, I found this. frame Roger Rabbit. I mean, I could spoil that, but has anybody here not seen the movie? <laughs> there is an answer to that question. I think if Mike played the new Zelda 2 remaster, it'd be one of his favorite games of the year. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should try that. There's, It's like a PC version. I just wish that like I could play it on... Um, Like a CRT. That's the only, that's the thing that's kept me from like doing it. Is like it's Zelda too. It's like an NES game. Like I, if I could put it on my CRT, I, I would have already done it. But it's like it's like a PC thing. Um, it's like this game I'm playing on PC, but it's like it is a PC game, so it like doesn't bother me. But when when the game is like when something like that, because it like Zelda two was an NES game, it's like I don't know. It's always like a little weird to me. And not that I haven't done it, I have. I've played like uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll before, and that was a Mega Man game, like an old school type of Mega Man game that was on uh, PC, and I played it, and I thought that was great. It was a great game. So it's not that like I wouldn't do it, it's just like I'd prefer it to be, you know, on a on the console as a preference, but not not that I wouldn't do it. Alright, so, oh, resource converter, boom. Alright, let's get this guy off of my dome first. Holy sh shit. Dude. Get this guy off of me! Um, can I, like, get by anything? Hold on. Let me up my shield strength. A 
I get a good reflection, like. Guys gotta die, come on! What is there, three of these things? No wonder. As long as that doesn't take me out. Damn, come on! There wasn't like anything really more I could do. Score. This that guy has five hundred forty-four thousand. Still better than sixteen. Oh, was sixteen my last? Because <laughs> I wasn't. Because I'm not. Because I wasn't sending stuff back yet. It's like I have to get ahead of the enemies enough. I have to get ahead of the enemies enough to be sending stuff back. I guess I don't know. Let's try it again. And there's no, like, di am I, like, choosing a difficulty on this at all? I guess there is no, it just is what it is. So, all right, endless. So there is no difficulty on this. It just, it's just, this is what it is. Break time, drink water. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good point. I'll take a break for a minute, and then we'll come back and try, I'll try another run. I'm probably just going to do, like, one more run, so. All right, um... Or one more. If I, I mean, if I die in like two minutes or something, then I'll, like I'll do another. But all right, uh, quick break. Then we'll do the other run. Be back. I wish the game would just start. All right, here we go. Now, now I'm an expert. Now I know exactly what to do, dude. Eventually, I'll do no. I'm gonna do no hit predator. <laughs> oh, it's already already fucked. Start over. <laughs> I kind of like the punch better than the gun anyway. At least the punch does something. Motherfucker. This is so weird. All right, we're gonna get the laser. We're gonna blow up the wall. Now I know, now I know all this shit. games where the background doesn't isn't there <laughs> I hate this all right come on I'm gonna do it here goes my no hit run uh, no hit level one. Come on, no hit level two. Fuck! <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god, oh my god. You like how the death is like delayed till he falls down? As soon as he falls down, it should make that sound. It's like he dies. Like why is this death sound so delayed? God, get it. All right, good. In, good. I hate this part. Dude, this game sucks ass. It's 
Does that count? Set of bubbles. Is he in a bathtub? Give me that. That's like an item, isn't it? Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what kind of fucking weapon is this? They got the, the weapons like leave the screen. Uh oh, oh my god. Stronger, like what's that? Give me that. Go get it. Kill everything on screen. I like that. Ooh. Okay. Come on. As long as it hits anything, really, huh? There you go, that counted. Nice, okay. Hey. <laughs> the fuck, huh? Ooh. Yeah! He's like invisible. Okay. Oh, back to regular. Keep firing. Um, it seemed like only one bullet would come out at a time with that weapon. There's no timer. Isn't that good design? Um, I mean, sure, if you want to point out positives, we can do that. Let's point out positives. Um, I don't mind the music. There's no timer. Can anyone th think of anything else? <laughs> um, if I think of something else, I'll let you know. Probably like if they would have watched the movie, that probably would have helped. If there ever is one. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, there it is. Oh, pff, I thought that was ground over there. <laughs> All right. You can't drop down like Contra. Oh, yeah, it's not like Contra, by the way. Oh, there's a gun in there. Not that I can get to it. I need that laser gun to get to the laser gun. Motherfucker. Oh, you want that laser? You know what you need to get it? The laser. Why don't you just do it? You suck. You suck. Can I just go in now? I could go back now that I have this laser and try to get the health. Will this gun not run out? Guess we're gonna find out. Don't be a gun that runs out. Fuck! Ah! No! Where do I continue from? Uh, big mode? Uh, again with this? Dude, I need that weapon that killed everything. Give me the kill everything weapon. Not this stupid thing. I hate this stupid thing. This stupid thing sucks. Oh, God. Oh, that's it, isn't it? Shit! Fuck! Ah! 
and Mike returns. Let's see what I am returning into and what my chat is talking about. Ditalix87 says that he he once was a jerk addict and realized it was the sole reason being depressed alcoholic. Bread Zero says attack of the VCR lines. Uh you had bourbon and ginger ale and it went down too fast. Let's see what else we got here. Sick box art was way cooler than the actual graphics. You buy a game because it looks badass and then it sucks. Hello Mike and everyone. Why do people sniff when they know someone farted? You mean like if they're like, Did somebody fart? You mean like that situation? Because it's always a dude that's like that. It's always one of those guys. <laughs> Who farted? Somebody fart in here? <laughs> you mean that guy? Yeah, we all know that guy, don't we? Coming into a Mike Matei stream and trying to get people to stop masturbating. Bold. That, that is very bold. That is true. Bold and beautiful. Just like the show. Just popped in to say hi. Have good night. Maybe Mike will still be playing this game when I get up for work in the morning. Ha. Huh? Oh my god. Saw the hottest redhead ever working at gas station earlier tonight. You sound like you need to jerk off and get it out of your system. He's saying that's the other guy. Sex better than jerking. LOL. Anybody else here jerking it in the chat right now? That's from Big Apple, 3 a.m. So, we have a lot of people that masturbate to my streams. Now there's one guy in here that's like, hey, hey, maybe you shouldn't, you guys shouldn't be doing all that masturbating. It causes depression and it causes a lot of problems and all that. But you have to understand that y you do remember, Dietalix, that they're watching Mike Matei live. So they are going to be masturbating. I mean, look at these streams. You know, haven't you seen me play Bart's Nightmare? How could you not be masturbating when I'm playing Bart's Nightmare, if you really think about it? It's just, it's not, it's not fair. If you, go into, if you go into somebody else's stream, or if you go into, like, uh, you know, anywhere else in life, I, I would agree with you, and I'd be right there with you. But when you're watching a Mike Matei live stream, you know, and I, I'm playing a game like Pest Terminator, there's no choice. They have to jerk off. They have to jerk off when I play X-Men on NES. There's no choice, okay? Otherwise, I'd agree with you. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, so I'm trying to play this Dome Keeper game. And uh, we, are, we have been doing prestige mode. I just didn't have a very good run, but I'm going to try it again. I figure, you know, if you guys, any, you guys have any advice on anything I can do to do better, like, let me know. But uh, one thing I'm thinking is that if I can get a run where I get the prospecting thing early, then I'd be able to find the uh, iron quicker. And then maybe I'd have a little bit more that I could sell off, you know, to the prestige thing and then maybe get more points. So that's what I'm hoping, but we'll see what happens. The advice is to believe in yourself. You've been drinking, don't listen to you. Have you been drinking? And jerking off too, right? <laughs> How's that going for you? My advice is to stretch quit streaming and become porn star with that huge cock. I like playing games though. Haven't you seen me play this game? I'm like obsessed with it. All right, let's see. So wait, are they, is this guy coming already? 
Not yet. I thought that thing, I thought I heard that thing flashing and going off. It's gonna happen soon. Nope, still not. I'll just drill down for now. Actually, I gotta hold it with one, two, three. So it's gonna be this one that I'm gonna go across. Start making making these tunnels. I I would be a porn star, but I have to play Dome Keeper. <laughs> you know? for that, I'd be down. <laughs> I, got, I got all these domes to keep. <laughs> Why get involved in porn when you can, industry, when you, you can be a gamer? That was sleazy. Um, yeah, oh yeah, because this is like isn't or anything. <laughs> My streams are, at least. Is he playing? This is prestige mode. A lot of porn stars don't finish. A lot of times, just saying. You mean like they don't come? What kind of porn are you watching? Yeah, that dude lives says, what about the cum shots? Yeah, what about the cum shots? What are you talking about? Yeah, that dude lives. Why don't you have a conversation? Can you guys have a conversation about this and get to the bottom of this conversation? He goes, he goes, yeah, guys, what about the cum shots? How about we do, let's do that same thing again, but we'll be, remember earlier, the guy with the, uh, the emotes? All right, here we go. This is the impression. Be like, um. Yeah, yeah, guys! What about the cum shots? Not your mama! Again! Again! You like how it's, it also sounds like Elmo? Oh, that's what he, the, uh, the dinosaur would say. Baby Sinclair, he would say that. And you go, Fran! What was the other one? Ro Robbie and, uh... I the, what the girl's name. What's the girl's dinosaur's name on that? Oh, God. I'm gonna go crazy. What's her name? What are the, what's the, what's the sister's name? Charlene, is it Charlene? It's like, uh, Charlene, I think? I haven't watched it in a while. I feel like I'm, like, seriously thinking about this now. Angela. Somebody goes Angela. I th I think maybe it's Angela. A Angela. Oh yeah, the baby Sinclair email. We gotta. I think there might be more slots unlocked. We gotta look and like. There was also a Spock one. Did you like not like the Spock one? I, I wanted to put. The, I was looking to do, use the Spock one earlier, and then I wasn't there. We gotta like add more in there. We used to have like a Spock one. I think it's not in there now. We'll try to add more. We haven't talked about the emotes in a long time, but yeah, I gotta like, we gotta look at them and add more and do all that. I just haven't been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about Dome Keeper. You didn't like it? Uh, okay, well.
Yeah, I mean, I like if you if you don't like it, I get that. I um, yeah, I, I do I do for Leonard Nimoy too. So. Didn't you do a data one once? Did you not, not like that one either? I think I remember. I think I remember liking that one. Was it him laughing or something? I'm trying to remember. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum. I think you did like Riker once, right? I, th I remember that one looking like Jonathan Frakes. Which is cool. How about Scotty? We pulled James Doohan one. It could be old Scotty too, by the way. It doesn't have to be like TOS Scotty. Alright, let's see. Can I please have damn it's of course it's not gonna be the ones I want. Yeah, Kirk and Chekhov. Yeah, that Kirk one, that really like I mean, he's doing an expression, but that looks like Shatner. And the, um, uh, the Chekhov one, like, that, it looks like Chekhov. I mean, like, they're funny, but they, they actually do, like, look like them, which is cool. I guess that's true. I guess the Leonard Nimoy one didn't really, like, look like him quite enough. I, I, I agree with that. I liked it, but I, I can see that. If you wanted to get it to, like, really look like Leonard Nimoy. You can try it again. You, I'm sure you could do it. Just try it again. Uh, let's do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the laser power like earlier. You like the one where Scotty takes the bridge? He's so awesome. Uh, there's a few in season three. Uh, there's a good one. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to remember what the hell the name of it is, but there's like a there's like a later ep, like one like late into the series, there's one where he like has to take charge. I forget. I haven't seen like the third season ones, and you know like everybody craps on the third season, but there there's some decent episodes in that third season. Like there 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 is. There's also a lot of really terrible episodes. It is true, the third season is the, definitely the worst one, but there is uh, there is some good episodes in there. Does anybody remember you being an asshole? You don't remember, but you apologize if you were. Um, I don't think so. You were just talking about like jerking off or whatever. I don't. We don't care. You can talk about that. You're fine. You didn't answer me, though, of what you're drinking. You said you were drinking, and I don't think... Maybe you did answer, and I didn't read it. I missed, like, half the comments in the chat. Here, let me stop and read some, because... We haven't had any Captain Kirk talk, like, lately. I mean, we were just talking about it right now. What do you want to talk... I'll talk all about Captain Kirk, if you want to talk about Captain Kirk. I like to talk about Captain Kirk. I don't like the third season episode with the fat angel Gorgon or something like that he was called. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's their third season? It was, what is happening? It was, and the children shall lead. I'm trying to remember, what, what was the plot of that one? I remember that being a weird episode, let's see. It's like really, that is like a really weird episode. Um, I don't like the, like the outfit. It's, that's like a super, I don't know if I'm going to say that. Like a, maybe I don't like it. Like, I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's like, um, there's an episode like nobody talks about. That's just like a super weird episode. I feel like, 
uh, some of those season three ep- uh, episodes just have such a weird vibe to them that I kind of like how like they're like kind of they're like some of them are like they're like really off putting, but they have such, like because it's just like some of them like that one's like almost like a horror movie or something. Like some of those like TOS episodes have like elements to them that are so like they're almost like out of uh, like from another dimension or something or it's I, like, I don't even know how to like like say it just like the the uh, the vibe of it is so odd on some of those episodes that I almost have to like respect it for being like like how do you make something that's that like weird to watch I'm not really explaining myself very well but if you like if you watch it and you just like like the vibe of the, the vibe of those episodes is just like bizarre all right I need one more for that but what do I really want to do here I want to do I don't know I'll do the drill I can always go can't go wrong with the drill anybody else playing dome keeper with Mike yeah, people, you know, as I've been doing this, people have been telling me that they're playing along. It doesn't feel safe. It's exotic. TNG was safe in comparison. Yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, yeah, you watch TOS and it's, like, really, like, weird, you know? And, like, yeah, you watch The Next Generation and everything seems very, like, uh, I don't want to say, like, sterile, but, like, um, almost like normie, where, where TOS would, like, get real weird, and I like that. Like, it should be weird. It's like you're in space and you're meeting aliens and stuff. And stuff. It should have, like, sometimes, like, a real weird vibe like that. And I feel like even when they had, like, weird aliens on Next Generation, it still just, it didn't. It usually didn't have like a weird, well, like a weirdo vibe with it. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm really not um, articulating myself very well at all about this. Ever noticed that nobody in Star Trek is ever married? Uh, Captain Kirk marries people on the Enterprise in the original series. Riker and Troy get married in Star Trek Nemesis. There's a bunch of people that are married on Star Trek. Um, Keiko and O'Brien are married. What you're saying is just not even true at all. Just <laughs> super not true. The whole thing, like, on Vulcan with Spock and Amok Time, it's like this big marriage ceremony thing. It's one of the best episodes. It's just so, like, not true. I think Worf... Uh, didn't Worf and Dax have a, have a thing? Did he have, like, a red armor on or something in that? Didn't they have... They had a thing with, like, marriage? And, like, I feel, I feel like there's Ferengi marriage things. There's a lot of marriage in Star Trek. That's just so untrue. Also, what's the... Uh, uh, there's an original series episode where Captain Kirk marries two of the officers. I think it's a pretty early episode. I can't think of what episode that is, but... Now I just want to talk about Star Trek. I'll, I'll try to keep playing the game. Wasn't Rom married and had kept kids? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm married to 11 uh, different Ferengi women, and I have 112 kids back on my home world. <laughs> oh, God, help me. <laughs> I want to do all my streams like that. Quark wouldn't get married. Yeah, he's all about the money. He isn't. He, he would definitely have some kind of crazy, like, prenuptial agreement. Like, who, who even knows? Well, you know how they, and that, like, all the women have to be naked. You know, that whole thing. But, like, no matter what. And then he was pissed off because, like, Moogie was, like, wearing clothes and all that, remember? Which is just because they, like, to have the female characters, they had to wear clothes. So they had, they had to make her, like, 
do that and be like, oh, she's gonna be the one that wears clothes because they can't. They're not gonna have somebody just be naked. I guess they could have like blurred it out or something. They could have went that way. They could have actually had all the female Ferengis be naked and just like blurred the screen. <laughs> they should have done that. There is there is an episode where you like see some of them naked, but they they like show them from the back. I don't know if they do that in more than one episode, but like there's at least one where like they literally don't have clothes on. They don't actually like show anything, but let's talk more about naked Ferengi. <laughs> who who here wants to talk more about naked Ferengis? <laughs> Quark is a scumbag. Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of, but like I like Quark. Doctor Crusher was married too. Yeah. Mm hmm. Jack. All that. More like jack me off, right, Mike? <laughs> Get it? Who wants Ferengi pussy? doesn't. But uh, Spock was supposed to marry to Pring, and then Stan was going to be the husband, right? So, but, or be like Spock. So Spock was going to fight Stan, but I guess, like, Dr. McCoy, I think, determined. He's like, yo, Stan is going to kick your ass. I think they should have got... The actor that played Stan, I think they should have had him been, like, a bigger dude. Because it seemed to me, like, I don't know, like, it looked like Spock could have probably not had much of a problem kicking Stan's ass. I don't know. I feel They should have got some dude that was, like, seven feet tall, like a seven-foot-tall Vulcan, and it was be like, okay, yeah, well, Spock's going to have a problem with this guy. Yeah, I don't know. It just... I didn't, I didn't buy that... Spock would really have that much of a hard time defeating Stan. I mean, like, I don't know. So instead, they're like, all right, well, Kirk better do it. So that he can cheat. It was their, it was their way of, like, getting around the pond far. Because otherwise, you know, Spock would have died. Spock would have died then. But even if Spock would have died in during the fight with uh, Stan in a month time, they would have just brought him back anyway. Because they, you know, any character dies on Star Trek, they always come back, and like regardless. So, what the hell does it matter anyway? They would have found another way to bring him back. <laughs> And would be like, oh, well, Captain Kirk didn't come back, but he did come back because there was the books afterwards, and he came back in the books. Like, you know, in Generations, how he's buried under the rocks in uh, at the end of Generations? Well, the book opens, and then they beam... I think it's like the Borg or something. They Borg beam Kirk out from under the rocks, and the rocks, like, crumble into themselves. And then they, like... I think the Borg rejuvenate Kirk, and then he... Basically, you know how it's like Picard is Locutus? Well, in the books, there's, like, a... There's like a Kirk Locutus, basically, and then eventually by the end of the book, like he, he's like he's just Captain Kirk again. But like the Borg, like resurrect them or whatever. That was the return, and then they did a bunch of series of like those books. I read all that shit. Star Trek Picard will bring back Kirk just to kill him again. I don't think so, it, dude. Sh William Shatner is like what is he like ninety five or something? He's not. He's it's it's done. Like I don't, he's not gonna he's not gonna do it at this point. Imagine if they did. They bring back a ninety five year old like Kirk. I mean, what the hell? Actually, honestly, like isn't Patrick Stewart like pretty close to the same age as Shatner? <laughs> the th the difference is is that like, because like Shatner like looked younger on the original series. Like, Picard from the beginning like 
always looked old. He was always bald. He always looked old. So it's like the difference between Picard on Picard and Next Generation. It's like, eh, he like always kind of just like looked old. You know, where Kirk like actually like started, he like looked like he got older. So it's harder. It's kind of harder to bring Kirk back. He'll just look like a bazillion years old. <laughs> 92. He's 92. And William Shatner's 92. Yeah. I've met William Shatner uh, several times. I was just about to watch that the other day, actually. I ended up watching something else. I, I, will, I will actually watch it. was born 45 years old doesn't it seem that way it's like that's it's just like that's so accurate Picard was Picard was 48 when he was born <laughs> I think he might have been I think that might be true <laughs> he was 48 when he was born all right, let's see. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one of these away. I want I want a little bit of a higher score. So let, let's do this. Send Cobalt, right? Send back Cobalt. Increase the prestige point multiplier you get each wave. So there, I'll put here. I'll put in two. I guess you're supposed to do that earlier. If you do that earlier, it's probably better. But whatever. I'm gonna start sending stuff back. somewhere. Send it back, you're drunk. Everybody's drunk in here. Bunch of drunk masturbators. What do you expect watching like a Mike Matei live stream? Of course it's gonna be a bunch of drunk masturbators. The Muppet Babies. Were you expecting maybe uh, the Muppet Babies? <laughs> this is why condenser can be good. Can the send the water you get back for more prestige? Okay. Oh, here maybe. Like maybe. I just feel like whenever I've done the condenser, it just never. It makes like one molecule of water and then it doesn't make anymore. And I've I've done it before where it's like. I've upgraded it quite a bit, and it just doesn't make... I, maybe I don't understand how it works, but I, I thought it would, like, every once in a while pop out a new, like, water molecule, and it just doesn't ever. So I don't get it. Like, I've seen it... I think I've seen it pop out, like, two water molecules, and it just, it just doesn't seem to ever make any. I don't know. I, I think I'm doing something wrong with it. Like, I don't get it. Mate live stream where you just show your raw asshole to the chat for 10 plus hours. Uh, we could we could do that sometime. That'd be fine. I was gonna save that for my porn career though. There was the guy earlier who wants me to go into porn because I have a huge dick. But instead of that, what if my what if my porn career isn't that? What if it's what if I'm just like an asshole? I'm just the guy. I just spread my asshole. Is there any porn that's like that? Where the guy just stands there and spreads his asshole. I'll just do that instead. That's gonna be my new career. I'm gonna stop playing video games. No more Pac Man, guys. Sorry. Next time you see me, I'm just gonna be spreading my asshole. Somebody earlier asked me if I smoke. How about this? My new career, I'm gonna just spread my asshole. But it's, it's actually not gonna be porn videos. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke cigarettes out of my asshole. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the little cigarette in my up my ass. And I'm gonna puff I'm gonna be, I'm gonna blow smoke rings out of my butthole. That's my new career. What do you think? I think that's a good idea, or you think maybe I should keep playing Pac-Man? I think maybe it might be a good idea if I stick to the retro games, don't you? I don't, I don't know how that career is going to go for me. <laughs> turn, they say, yeah, Mike, turn your ass into a bong. Okay. Star Trek porn. <laughs> there, there is Star Trek porn. There's like I know at the very least there's a Star Trek: The Next Generation porn. I don't know if I don't know if they ever did like original Star Trek. Like if like it's like Kirk and Spock. Like I never saw I, I never saw that exists. I'm sure it probably does. But I I know that a Star Trek: The Next Generation porn exists. Educational videos, nice. Yeah, I'm all, I'm into making educational videos. It's where I smoke a cigarette with my butthole. That could be educational. I see you're drinking coffee during a stream. Do you ever eat dinner food during a stream? Uh, occasionally, like, during a break, I'll have, like, a bite of something. Like, I always keep, like, fruit around, so, like, maybe I'll have, like, a apple or banana or something like that, like, on a break real quick. Like, to be real, like, what, sometimes, I'll, like, on a break, like, I'll, like, yeah, I'll eat, like, something, like, a banana or something like that, and then, like, I, I make my coffee, because I want the coffee to be, like, hot or whatever, and then I bring it back, and then I'm back on stream. That's it. That's what I actually do on break. It's not very exciting. Nobody here wants to know the real thing that I do. So we, we say that, you know, Mike's shitting and Mike's slamming his balls in the drawer or whatever. But, um, that'd be great. I, I wish every time I went on break, I took a shit. Because don't you feel better after you take a shit? That'd be great. Because everybody's like, oh, Mike's taking a shit on every break. So I take a break, like, what, every, like, hour, hour and a half or something like that. Imagine if I took a shit every, like, hour, hour. <laughs> like... Streams, huh, guys? Do you like Do you like this topic? Do you guys like to talk about this topic of taking a shit? Isn't that great? I'll have to get James over here. He would love this conversation. He's the He's the poop guy. He's the expert on talking about poop. Is there corn? Oh God. always drinks blood because he's a vampire. Oh, that's true. I am part Romanian. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? A 10. I'm going to send in a little more. Should I send more stuff back? I got to be brave about sending stuff back, so I'm going to send some of this water back. Like, I, I got to be a little... I gotta be a little brave about that, because otherwise, if I'm not, I'll never get any, like, score on this, so. I won't score. This stream is brought to you by Metamucil. <laughs> I 
No, this, these streams are brought to you by Beefaroni. Here we go. It's time for Beefaroni. Beef and macaroni. You know what? I could, I could get the more help. We'll do that. I should get the I should get the shielding. The sh that shield is probably so important. Have I watched the Harry Potter movies? I've seen them. I actually, so, I liked, like, Lord of the Rings stuff, so I was like, you know what, I'll pro I probably would like the Harry Potter stuff. Like, I'm a nerd, you know? That's probably perfect for me. So, I, act I watched well, actually all of them, um, and I can't remember a thing about them, and I really don't, I really didn't. I really didn't enjoy it. I'm gonna be real about it. I really tried hard, though. I actually, I, there's like eight of those movies, right? I, I actually, years ago, I bought the Blu-ray box set of it. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do the whole Harry Potter thing, and I watched all of them. And I was just, I was really bored by it, and I just really didn't. Um, and I was like watching it, watching it too. It wasn't like I was half watching it. I was sitting like staring at the screen, watching it like fully, full attention on it. And I just did, really did not care about it. So I tried. I wanted to like it because you would think that I would like it. It seems like the type of thing that would be like for me, but I could not get into it at all. I had like absolutely no interest in it. So, I don't know. And then, you know, I've told that to people before, and they're like, oh, well, the, like, the books are better or whatever. And may, maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe I, like, I had to read the books or something, but I don't know. I watched all the movies, and I just, I did not, I did not care about them at, at all. So, that's fair. You gave it a shot. I mean, I gave it a shot. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. And that's not me being like, oh, if you like Harry Potter, you suck or something. Like, it's fine. If you like Harry Potter, that's fine. I just, I couldn't get into it. You don't blame, you don't blame me. Most of the things from the UK suck. Um, you know, as a kid, I liked the HBO. I liked Mr. Bean. I, I didn't like the movie, but I liked I liked the TV show. I liked Mr. Bean. Um, UK stuff. I've seen that Keeping Up Appearances show. I kind of thought that that was kind of funny. Um, I mean, I haven't watched that much of it, but it seemed, seemed like an RA show. Um, I don't know. go-to example for a character that, that should not be played by anybody else. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, it has to be Rowan Atkinson. How could it be anybody else? It would be stupid if it was anybody else. Like, that face. Like, is somebody else, like, trying to do that? Like, it's just what... It, no way. It would never work. It would be awful. I feel like that's one, like, people usually agree on. People are like, oh, yeah, like, he has to be Mr. Bean. But, like, I feel that way about, like, a lot of characters. 
They'll get Zachary Quinto to play Mr. Bean, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't like... I don't like... I know some people are like, oh, they like the Dr. McCoy character or whatever. Like, I've heard multiple people say that. I don't like anybody that plays any of those original series characters. I, like, I want them to be, like, just don't. Don't try to replace anybody on the original series. Also, same thing for any of them. Like, let's say it was, like, Voyager or something. Like, don't... Let's say they, like, made like, some Voyager movie, but it was, like, a new cast or something. No, like, no. No, Kate McGrew is, like... Captain Janeway, you know? Like, don't, just don't do that shit. I hate that. You know? Try to replace, like, Robert Picardo or something. Like, fuck off, you know? I hate that shit. So it's not just it's not just that I'm like oh yeah Zachary Quinto and Mr. Spock it's like I mean I'm trying to think of like anybody it, it would have to be somebody that I thought didn't really do a good job and then I would feel okay if they like replaced them on a new thing or something but like that's the reason you like the show and the, like, I don't know it's like who like on Star Trek is it, just like didn't let that it would have to be somebody that sucked and then then I, okay I'd be alright if they replace somebody that I like really didn't like as a character. But, like, most of the characters I like on it, so it's, like, so don't replace them. And then and, and then they're, like, well, oh, we have to replace them because the actors are, like, old now. Just stop making it. Make a new thing. But they don't want to hear that because, like, cause it's the same thing. It's, like, Batman and Star Wars and Star Trek and all these franchises. They have to keep them, like, going forever because it's, like, the familiar thing and that's how they can make money because it's like oh we gotta make another Batman movie everybody already knows what Batman is so if we are if we put a Batman movie out then people are gonna go see it because it's Batman or, or same thing with like all this shit so they have to like keep the same fucking things going instead of making something original and it's like that's a it's just that's the fucking plague of uh, the entertainment industry that, that they you know they just can't get get past and the same thing with video games too gotta make another Mario thing Gotta make another Donkey Kong thing or whatever. It's like the same, the same fucking games over and over. It's another Zelda game. It's like, are we fucking good on Zelda games now? I think I think there's been plenty. Doctor Who. See, it's different than with Doctor Who, though. Doctor Who, I feel like they kind of didn't they sort of do that from the beginning. And I, I, I'm all right with it from James Bond because James Bond, it's like they did like a, the batch of movies with Sean Connery, and then they like mo they moved on. So it's like if you do it, if you don't wait like too long, let's say like you have a, like a character and they play the role for a few years, and then like you you move on, you like move on to the next. I don't know. I feel like Bond was like sort of like just established to be that way for, like for such a long time that it's like it's more like okay you know alright um maybe that, that that's what they need to do with these franchises is like establish from the beginning alright like every like three years we're gonna change the fucking actors around alright I gotta think about what I'm doing hold on um, I need all right. I need twelve for that. Twelve for that. I need twelve for all those, and then twenty-four. Oh my god! I just got a bunch of subs. Global Bakers gifted out a whole bunch of subs. Thank you so much, uh, Global Baker, for gifting out subs to all ever. I have all the coins. You got a gift sub, Moblin Slayer. You got a gift sub, TikTok. You got one, Extreme Master 205, Soul Reaver 229, Ann Karis, Poop Riot, Crushed Level, Kevin, aka Eros, Fizzy, Fizzy Bull, Melty, or something like that, I don't know what your name is, J Mad, Keepster 420, Dino Gen X, Chill Guy 87, 
Han Porno, Wizard Styles, Blind Bull God, SG31012, and Wet Maverick. All these people just got gift subs from the Global Baker. Thank you very much, Global Baker. You're somebody that remembered uh, the gift subbing this late in the stream and this late at night, so I appreciate that. And then Retro Ice Bunny says, Bedtime, good night. See, everybody's going to bed. I don't. I, I, pick, I pick the worst times to stream uh, as far as like subscriptions go. Because I stream at like 4 or 5 in the morning and everybody's like falling asleep. Nobody's thinking about like subscribing and stuff. So like most of the most of the stream, it's like this is not like people haven't been like. So if I was smart about this, and I will, like, I'd probably do this at like when people were like wide awake and like ready to subscribe. But I'm just like whatever. I'll just fucking do this. I'll do it when everybody's half asleep. Who fucking cares? <laughs> so I appreciate that. Thanks, Global Baker. It's Prime Gaming Hour. Yeah. Oh, oh that's true. That's a good point. Shepherd of the Outcasts. <laughs> oh, me? That's probably a pretty good description. Who here thinks that I'm the Shepherd of the Outcasts? I have, like, that, uh, like, question mark thing that, like, uh, not Little Red Riding Hood. Who is that? Goldilocks or whatever it has. The Shepherd of the Outcasts. <laughs> it's totally me. Salvage Bar also thanks for gifting us up to Global Baker. Hey, he just gifted this up to you. How do you like that? And the Global Baker gifted out a bunch more subs to Monster Air Bomb 24, uh, Consolex, and Relion. Those are more gift subs from Global Baker. Thank you very much for that. You are a kind soul providing a streaming space to escape from everybody talking about some guy's helmet running after pigskin. Oh, what? You, you don't care? You're not like a sports guy? All I think about it is sports. Like, I just love it. I have all, I have all of the sports ball games. Those are my favorite. I fornicate gifted out some subs. Gifted out subs to Lazarus, Prince Monkey, Discretion Wise, Harmless Field Mice, and Austin4321. Austin B4321. Uh, thank you very much. I fornicate. And thank you, Global Baker, for gifting out all those subs. And if you got a gift sub from either one of them, be sure to say thank, thank you. And that, if you're not like, if you're new to Twitch or whatever, that means that you get uh, 30 days of being able to watch the st these streams without having to watch ads. So if you got a gift sub, come into the streams and watch them, and you don't have to watch the ads for a little while. Pretty good. Thanks, guys. He just collects video game stuff to keep it away from the nerds. <laughs> What's, you mean like so they won't have it? Like I'll have it so they won't have it? But I'm a nerd. So that doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> Sports all day, bro. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Oh, that's why. Oh yeah, yeah, I meant to, be, uh, I'm the jock guy, right, in this scenario. How quickly I forgot what I was supposed to be saying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I love all the ball. Sport. I love the balls. The sport ball. The balls. Thanks. <laughs> is that is that what uh, people that are into sports say that they love they love the balls? That's what I'm gonna say. You hung out with jocks, but they smell like B.O. 
Oh, I guess that's true. <laughs> For the love of the balls. For the love of the balls. For the love of my balls. I can do the health. I'll do the health. I mean, it can't hurt me. Mike, will you auto repair on lethal damage when you have? Wait, what? Mike, will you auto repair on lethal damage when you have the one upgrade? Um, so you don't even have to repair. Oh, yeah. Put the water into that. Um, right. I haven't done that, huh? I guess I forgot to do that. I always forget to do that. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. You're right. You're right. I forgot. It's just one of the passive upgrades you get. Wait, no, it's just one of the passive upgrades you get. Wait, I thought, like... No, I thought you buy that... Hang on a second. I will go... We'll go look at that right now. Oh. Not the super shield water thing. Um. Hang on. I need more carry strength, like, really bad. He might just beat his score of 20. Yeah, I know. God damn it. It's like... It's like even... Where is my score? Is it even showing it? Is one... Like, I don't know. So, and I have 107. Is that my score? 107? Like, okay, so hang on a second. Um, so there's, uh, uh, where is that thing actually? Oh, it was this, this inventory management, auto automated dome repair. I already have it. That's not what you're talking about. What are you talking about? He's not gonna say. No, I'm just like, he, he left. I'm like waiting for him to answer. He's gone. <laughs> just forget it. I'll just figure it out myself. Um, okay, now he comes through. Yeah, it will auto repair with that one. Don't have to manually spend the material to heal. Right, but I already have it. Are you asking me if I had it turned on already? I, I did. I got it earlier. So it's done. I actually thought that I forgot to do it, but it's it's already on. So, I mean... I should get the speed so I can get down to the bottom quicker. I need both of these, like, really badly. The whole thing's, like, a problem. Oh, crap, I need this on. <gasps> I should do this. Dude, I, I'm doing the auto cannon. Holy crap. No wonder. I mean, that's a problem. My auto cannon. I haven't been like paying any attention to it. Oh, I got a little bit of time left. A little bit. Hey, at least I got that. Can I spend that? 
somehow. I could do this. I could send some back. You know what? These, these things really help. I'm going to do that and that, because that helps me. That's that line that comes. So I'll do that. Cheese and macaroni. important things we could sing about cheese and macaroni anything that's more important you like smoky meats what are you talking about tell me about what kind of you're telling us what kind of meat you like to smoke Huh. Interesting. Let me tell you what kind of meat pole I like to smoke, Mike. How do I feel about Rally X? Uh, I never really liked it that much that doesn't mean I like, hate it or anything um, it's a, it's like I don't know sorry it's not one of my favorite like older games um, I don't hate it or anything like that it's just not like I don't know I'm not like super interested in it and I've definitely like played it before you know, like an okay amount of shit. Why? How do you feel about it? Do you really like it? I mean, I would give it like another shot. I mean, I never really... To be fair about it, I haven't really ever, like, really played it, like, super seriously. But, like, whenever I played it, I'm just kind of like, eh. That game is really hard to get a high score in. I mean, it's, it's hard to say. Like, with, with some games, it's like, I, sometimes I come back to games later and then end up liking games that I didn't really like. Especially with, like, old arcade games like that. Sometimes I'm like, you know, I'll try a game and be like, eh, and then I come back to it and it's like, oh, actually, I really do like this game. So I don't know. I, I would, I would totally be down to like put more, um, put a more serious like effort into. It. I guess like some games like just appeal to me like right off the bat. That one didn't. This is like a better way to say it, I guess. It's like the first time I ever played, I don't know, Robotron 2084. I was like, oh, I love this game. You know, this is awesome. And I don't, like, always feel that way. So, like, Rally X, I didn't, like, love from the start. But maybe if I played it more, maybe I'd be more, like, into it. I don't know. Hey, Dread Alien. We eat pretty much everything on Earth. Why wouldn't aliens eat us if they could? I don't know. Maybe they would. Who knows? I mean, there's things on Earth right now that would eat us. What about, like, a shark? They might. But th then... See, a lot of times I feel like when people talk about aliens, they talk about aliens like, oh, th the aliens might eat... Might... They would be like, okay, the if there was aliens, they might eat us or they might not eat us or something like that but that's only assuming there's like one alien I bet there's aliens that would not eat us and then there probably are aliens that would eat us because if there was because if there's 80 bazillion planets out there there's probably 
you think it's just like, oh, there's one alien like out there, you know, if it exists at all, like who knows? But it's like, if it does exist, there's probably like a bunch of them, and probably some of them would eat you, and some of them wouldn't. Just like, you know, your cat isn't gonna eat you, but a, you know, but a shark might, you know. So it's like, you never know. You never know what the hell's gonna eat you. <laughs> I bet there's jellyfish aliens. Yeah, just like the, the beginning of the encounter at Farpoint, right? Alien, alien sharks. Yeah, they, you gotta watch out for those alien sharks. Maybe sharks are aliens, and when people have been eaten by sharks, that is an alien eating, you know? Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Maybe aliens put sharks in the fucking oceans, and those are fucking alien sharks. So whenever you see a shark attack on te on television, that's a fucking alien shark. Like, who the fuck knows what's fucking real? I don't fucking know. I have no fucking idea. I'm an idiot. <laughs> who the fuck knows? I'm gonna send. I'm gonna try to send some, some more stuff back. I'll send a little water back. I'm gonna send like. I'll send two more of those back. I'm like I'm attempting to send more things back here. I wonder if the uh, cobalt is like worth more than sending back shit. I wonder if cobalt is worth more than sending back like iron. reflection thing that's like supposed to help right that a little bit boy I need the I need the next I need I need all this shit we'll see we'll see how I do did I see the nope movie what did you think about the alien uh oh yeah it was like that um weird I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a kite in the sky or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't really... I didn't really like it very much. I'd rather watch The Twilight Zone or something. <laughs> you know? Some of these movies these days take themselves like too seriously. I was just watching like a Twilight Zone thing the other day, and it was like the uh, these people go into this town, and they're going around the town, and they're like in, they're in like a kitchen, and then they like they like they open they try to open the door on the cabinet, and the the door rips off, and then they go outside, and there and there's like a tree, and the tree falls over, and it looks like it looks like a fake tree, and then you know, er, and then they get on a train, and then the train. Is, it's like everything's like fake in the town and they're just like why is this fake why is that fake and everything and by the end of the episode um, you realize that they they had been abducted by aliens and put on a planet where the where people are huge so the so the little girl like there's a little girl and the little girl like grabs them and and like the people are her pets and they built like basically like a model like railroad thing and the people are like in the model railroad and it's just like back then i feel like it's just like it was just kind of, it was kind of like it's kind of stupid but it's kind of like um 
it has a charm to it because it's like you get to the end, it's like oh ha ha, they're they're really just pets of this like little kid the whole time, and it's just like it's just it's dumb, but it's uh uh. It was more like just like charming, and I feel like some of these movies are just like these. They're like serious alien movies, and I'm just like I don't know. I just I like the cheesiness of like the 1960s, you know, where it's just it was just this kind of like silly. Like, like some of these Twilight Zone episodes, it's like the one that has the alien with the eye in the middle of his head, and it's just like it's fucking funny. I don't know. I just find them that kind of stuff like more entertaining than these movies that are trying to take themselves like really seriously. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Zelda's Harry Pitts, also for the sub. I mean, that's how I feel about, like, the superhero stuff, too. It's like, I like when it's just silly and stupid. Because I can't take superhero stuff seriously. It's like, how serious am I going to take, like, The Flash or something like that? I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, oh, I'm really going to get into this Flash movie. It's like, come on. It's fucking... Like, I can't, like, get all serious about, like, fucking Aquaman or some shit. Like, oh, yeah, oh, man, Aquaman, I'm going to really take this seriously. It's like, I, it needs to have, like, a level of, um, like, stupidity to it for me to, like, enjoy it. Like, they're, like uh, these Batman movies, it's like this sort of, like ultra-serious Batman movie. It's like, I don't want to watch an ultra-serious Batman movie. It's fucking, that's what makes it fucking stupid to me. So I don't like these, uh... I don't like the way they make shit these days. You can only take Flash Gordon serious. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that wasn't fucking serious either. It was, just, it, was, it was a science fiction thing that knew it was a science fiction thing. Flash Gordon comics. I love that art, the Alex Raymond stuff. Love that stuff so much. That's one of my favorite artists. I, I've always loved the Alex Raymond Flash Gordon. I have one right now. Come on. Not going too hot. Here is that I'm having to go down too far and I don't like have the speed to be like going down at the bottom up to the top like all the time. Oh, I need to go in here. I need to do this. So if I can get more speed so I can get down here quicker and I get the carry capacity, then that'd be this will be more like doable. It's like, I wish I could just drop the, let's see, I want to drop the water molecule. Best Batman is animated series, prove me wrong. Yeah, no, it's, I, I love the animated series. Most people do. I don't know anybody that, like, doesn't like Batman the animated series. Like, everybody seems to love it. That seems to be, the, like, one that's pretty universal. Like, everybody's, like, likes Batman the Animated Series. So, you're, yeah, exactly. You're, you're safe on that one. Please get 12. God damn it. I'm going back down. I'm going to see if I can get a couple more. I'm going to, like, this is bad to, like, try to risk this, but I really need... Oh, it was only one? Shit. This was not worth it then. I think she's better on that, though. Like, I don't mind her on that show, but I know what you mean, like, like the later inter inter iterations of her.
Was that like supercharged superhero thing on this? Like that egg thing that I get that makes me really fat? That was the other playthrough, right? So I'm gonna just try to go through some of this soft rock. There we go. This is not like totally according to like plan here, but like I need I need to get some crap pack. Only need like one more, right, to get the next speed. I just got the other speed, right? And the other thing, I'm gonna want that. But I'm like hardly, I'm almost barely surviving these these rounds. So it's like, ugh. It's like I, I might have to do like these. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll make that determination one. See, this is what ha this is what happens when you don't have the prospect thing. It's and it's like harder to find like materials. track a little bit. I'm like worried about being alive here and I've, I have no Two of the water. I know that auto, like the auto cannon is like real good. So it's like, what is this one? Oh, it'll like go by itself even if I'm not there. I'm usually like up there. I'm gonna do. I'll do that. I guess the main thing I need now is that. So I need a bunch of. See if I could get that. See if I ever got that resource manager. See, I'm not getting these damn. You know what sucks is like I'm mining out this like so particularly and I'm just I'm not getting the This is why I'm doing this so that I can get these uh, Devices and I'm like I'm not Getting the devices So it's really not good Now I gotta go back already
cool. Am I end right now? Am I end right now? Great. Cool. Is that didn't have enough cobalt? What is my final score? Ten. Two fifty-seven. Great. I can't, I can't get anywhere in this. I, how do you possibly get like any kind of like score like that? It's like I can't even get anywhere. I don't. I don't know how they do it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to like figure out some kind of like method to this to be able to do better because it's just like I get overwhelmed by the enemies. And it's like, I can't, it's, it's hard to be able to put the ore and the, you know, like the iron and stuff into the rocket to send back because you need it to like survive. So it's like, I, I just don't know. I can't imagine like how you can get like a score like that, a method to this madness. I, yeah, I don't know. I need some kind of method to this because I don't know. What if you go all for weapons? But then I won't be able to drill anything, like... Like, I don't know. Can anybody think of any kind of method? Because <laughs> I can't. Maybe I'll try, like, I don't know. I'll, do, I'll tell you what, I'm going to try one more. I'll try, you know, I'll try one more if anybody can think of any kind of, like, method I could even make this better, but I don't, like... Those high scorers have to be bots. Yeah. I mean, the enemies end you, so if you mine slow, but got good weapons. Right. Resource converter is the only way you've found to really jump ahead in this game. But, I, but I, I'm not getting it, you know? I'm going to do one last run, and then it's going to be the last one. So I'm going to take a, uh, another just quick break, and then one last run, and then that'll be the end of the stream. So I'll, I'll be back. I just got myself in trouble there. Am I gonna die? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, damn, yep, and I did. This part sucks. I'm probably gonna die here. Most likely. Most likely. I will be dying. Yep. Called that. That was really close. All right, it's full. We go, come on. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, it's gotta be almost dead. There it is. It's rough. Oh my God. Fucking crazy. I fucking dodged all that. Did you see, that was, that was clip worthy, that little moment. The last like 10 seconds there that was worth the clip right, this guy this guy's usually not too bad this is the one of the easier bosses never say that especially not on stream because you know now I'm gonna just die like a fool oh this part's really easy guys don't worry about it worst thing you can ever say on a stream <laughs> see <laughs> I deserve that death. That one I'm fine with because I deserved it. Never, never say something's easy. Never do that. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Oh! Did it come from behind? I didn't see that one.
It's the most frustrating thing when I don't know how I died. I'll, I'll accept the death, but I, just, I would have wish I would have seen like hit me. See if I can do this. more. Fuck! Okay, there. Recharge, recharge, recharge. Blow up. Anytime. I need more. It's full. Okay, good. Do it. Got him. Alright. I need to get those. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, it all disappeared on me. Fuck you, game. Fucking piece of shit. Now I'm in trouble. Okay, got, I got through that. Oh God, I forgot what happens now. Good. Okay. I am the T-1000! Fuck you, asshole! This is a fun game. Whoa! Oh, I didn't know that was coming. All right, crap. Do 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 do. Now we will become the masters. Fuck. <laughs> that was the best time for me to say that. We're gonna we're gonna dock our rocket right now. All right, guys, I'm I'm docking my rocket right now. Hold up, let me dock it. I'm gonna dock my rocket. I'm gonna dock my rocket. Get in there. I unsuccessfully did not dock my rocket. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Three thousand, and I got six thousand, how did I get six thousand? How the fuck did I get? I got 6,000? <laughs> Clearly I did. I, I want to beat it. I'm going to fucking sit here until I beat 6,240. Fuck, fuck everything else. We're not, we're not leaving here until this happens. So hopefully this happens right now. Five hours later. You know me. You think I could fucking hit something? Oh, I got ship three. I might do it. Maybe. Maybe this is it. Come on, baby. No more of these. No more of those. No! I said no more! That was... That was 8 four, zero. I almost had it. Come on. Oh, my God. My, like, TV went off <laughs> for a second. My TV went off. <laughs> I think I, I jolted the HDMI cord out. Can I get that ship back somehow? Dock in the rocket, yeah. Use the lever and button. I yanked the lever to dock my rocket. There you go, right on, baby. Right like that, oh. 18 times two. There, oh, look at that score! Please, please. Yeah! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, oh, I, I, I thought I had a break for a second. I hate this part. I hate this part. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's not sounds. Oh, and then my TV went off again. What, did I do it? 
God damn, I gotta stop doing that. Oh, came back. I think, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I only have 58 seconds to put my name in now. Can I get there in time? Come on, come on, baby. Come on, go over, rub, rub it, rub it out. All right, there it is. Now we can turn it off, because now I did it. There we go. Oh, uh, do you want to register score? No, I don't. I don't care. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Did I actually get him? Wow. Oof, ow, oh fuck. Please come back. I'm in trouble. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh ho ho, ho! 31, I mean maybe. Come on, baby. Come on, baby! Oh, it's this guy. Alright, well. We shall see. Usually I die on this fucking guy like one time. I shouldn't though, that's for sure. Shouldn't die. You didn't suck. Whoa. Get good, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to make it to 16. Probably not happening. That's a lot right now. Fuck. <laughs> I was like hiding. See me hiding behind that fucking asteroid, waiting for the fucking thing to come back. God damn it. <laughs> I was like, comedy. Shmup comedy right there, guys. That's shmup. That's more. Hey, there's more shmup comedy for you. Fucking hell. Shmup comedy, guys. That's some shmup comedy for you. <laughs> Everybody's favorite type of comedy, shmup comedy. All right, so uh, I'm gonna do play one last round. No matter what happens, if if I do poorly, if I do great, whatever. So this is this is my last round for the night. All right, uh, we're gonna do laser dome. We're gonna do the same crap. Proceed. Endless mode. We'll see how I can do. I feel like this comes down to. It's like the randomness, it's the RNG. Is the game gonna give you some decent gadgets? If you get good gadgets, you might do all right. If they give you a great, you know, if they give you a whole bunch of good things like quickly, then like you'll have a good round. If you don't, then you're screwed. So, but that's how these games are, isn't it? This is a roguelike and that's what happens. It's like when I was playing uh, what the hell is that game that I just did a stream of? Uh, Rogue Legacy. It's like some of the rounds I did good and some I didn't because that's how these games go. So, also like another thing is like if I put this in early, let's say I put in, oh, I need I need two to put in, but if I put in that stuff early, would the multiplier be like higher? because I'm doing it earlier, does that make sense? So like, okay, I have all these right here, right? So what if I put all this water in right now, right? I'm gonna do that actually, cause like right from the beginning, boom, boom, boom. I just put in like some, threw some water in and the rocket's like already going. And like this just started, so. Like maybe it'll be Maybe it's good to do that. Like, I don't know. To throw stuff in early. Does it matter? Because it's like each each round, you get like more points, right? 
I think it's every round it like multiplies or something. So if you if you put in stuff earlier, like that'll keep like multiplying or something. I'm trying to like understand it. I don't exactly understand it yet. And some of the people in the chat were kind of saying like go for the. Um, Go for the weapons to make sure you're, you're, you know, you're keeping ahead of the the monsters. I guess. So if I get if I get the speed, and the, and the power, just put everything in the in the weapons so that like I'm alive. Like I don't know, maybe that maybe that makes sense. Maybe that's a good idea. Rogue like is like from Rogue from X Men. No, it's from the game Rogue. There's an old game Rogue that I guess was on I don't know, old computers. It's not like Rogue from X Men. <laughs> All right, so but then, then I come back to this like I I also I need all this shit. So it's like. If you get speed racer, are you good? Wait, what? Is this about what are you saying about Speed Racer? Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. Good old Speed Racer. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up a powerful bye bye. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to be done. You bet your life speed racer. Remember Racer X? Mike, why do you know the lyrics to the Speed Racer theme? Because I, because I grew up watching it. It's like a million. All I did growing up was watch television. You know. <laughs> I know all that shit. I used to watch it. It was Racer X. that and he had the Mach 5 and what was it Chim Chim? Chim Chim was the monkey I think right? That was his like pet. The 1960s Speed Racer. I don't know anything. There's like a there was a movie I never saw it. I don't know anything about the movie. I, I know about the 1960s show. Used to be on. I wonder what channel that was on. Something. Some channel. Nickelodeon or something. It was like it was like old, like either like Nickelodeon or I don't know, Cartoon Network or back in the day. Maybe it was like Toonami or something. Like I don't, I don't remember. But it used to, they used to show it on TV like all the time. I feel like it was in the eighties. Probably like early nineties. I watched a lot of those kind of stuff. The, the Speed Racer channel, right? That was the channel, it was the Speed Racer channel. So, I would like Resource Converter or Prospector. Give me one of those. Prospecting Meter, all right. I'm gonna put something into this now. So um, the ones I mean, they're all good. I need, I want all of these, but I'm gonna get the cobalt one. I don't want to do the. Can I do the range? Not yet, but that's great though. Now I'll have like a little bit of a chance to like do anything. If I get a couple more, I could get that laser. I may not have time to do it. so much the fact that I got that and I got that early it's gonna be a big big help so I'm glad that we're doing like this one last run here so I'm having a good good feelings on this so far 
It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. All right, now I'm gonna do, I'll do the power, and then the next one I'll do, I'll do the speed. But I'll, I'll try to keep ahead on the, on the weapons. Eyes. Oh, grrr. there was something. There was cobalt up there somewhere. It kind of needs to come in more often, doesn't it? All right. Uh, I'm gonna grab that. Maybe do I have enough time to get to find this? Like, I thought there was like a cobalt thing. Somewhere there was a cobalt thing. Wait, did I put the stuff in? I just forget. Uh, no, I need to go back to get more. Like, right, like, where? Like, here? Like, yeah, there it is. All right. See how helpful that crap is, though? It's so important. So important. See what now? Let's do plus two speed. Bump, bump, bump. I right, pop that up there. Let's see what else to go look for. Oh, uh. Boom! Great. Good. Good, good. This is like real good so far. Okay. All right, weapons. Can I get the? Is that's why? Uh, that's only eight. All right, I'll put that in. I'm sorry that I knew the lyrics to Speed Racer. I'm sorry if that bothered you. <laughs> I knew the lyrics to a lot of stupid shows. Alright, there's another cobalt. Something. 
good. Time to go back. Probably, it probably is. It's a lot of little stuff there. Hey, may, you know what? Maybe I should send some of this crap back. I'm gonna send some crap back. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna say I, ha I, like, I have to if I'm gonna get any kind of score, right? Oh, that's as much as I can put in is three. Oh no, it just let me do it now. Never mind, I was hitting the wrong button. Here, I'll put in a little bit of the cobalt. I put a little bit. I'm not gonna put too much in. All right, uh, shield, and then so I could put. The, I'll do the. You know, I'm gonna do the range on this. Help me find this better. There. That's enough for now. There goes the rocket ships. There goes the rocket ships. I don't know if I should ever really be sending back the triangle. The cobalt. I think that might be dumb, but. Underneath, it's like it's like under there or something. All right, I feel like go like around or some crap. Shit, this is like a mess. I'm doing this extremely poorly. Fuck, what have I done? That was I just did that really poorly. I don't know. It was like on the other side of the wall or something. That was bad. Very badly done. Okay. Okay. Very poorly done on my part. That whole area was like a mess. Like better. I need the tr I need the next drill. Am I getting closer to this or far further away? I'm getting further away. Is it down. It is down. Let's see if it's left. Oh, here I see it. I don't know. I, I, I know it was messy. Alright, can I get it? I can get the next drill. I'm taking it. Fuck. And I know I gotta stay ahead, ahead on these weapons. I 
so it's like one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. I gotta get this to be not such a mess. Here, and then here. Oh, I don't have that water meter on there. It's like one, two, three, so here. Oh, there's a bunch of water molecules. I just saw something pop up there that was, that showed there, is it down here? I don't even know if it is, it's like over. It must be. Oh, I'm getting close to cobalt too. Kind of, is it down, is it up, where, come on. No? There, okay. There it all is. Sweet. Run back, run back, run back. There's a bunch of water I can get. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna drop one because I'm going too slow. put any more in. Let's see if I can get anything that can help me before I start fighting. If I could have could had one more, I could have got that. Shit. This was going all right. It was the first moment that it's like, really not. and shit now. I'm not gonna screw around. Um, Alright. Iron, iron, iron. Other way, this way. Gotta have that fucking prospect thing thing. It's just like you, there's no choice. You're like fucked if you don't have it. Freaking aliens. I said I was gonna put it into the weapons, right? So I will. Alright, so this. Okay, I can, uh, no, jeez, I almost hit the wrong thing. I did that earlier. Alright, this. Do I have ten? A couple more, I could get the speed. Aliens with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Yes. Yes. speed. Those guys, get to the other side quick. Get this guy. Let's get this dude. Get him. Get him. Kill these. Alright, let's look. What's the next thing I need to do? I need to do... I mean, there's a bunch. I'll get the automated dome repair. I'll get the hostile proximity meter. I can't get it yet. Uh, the weapons. I, I gotta remember to stay ahead on the weapons. So I should go for this 24 on here. So, but I need a ton to get that. Jeez. To get power three. But that's like probably the next thing I think I'd probably wanna get.
stay alive. Come on, we need... Yeah, there should be a bunch of stuff over here. Alright, there's that. Nice. Alright, just got further away. Getting closer. Here, boom. crap back that'd be great 10k not bad what was 10k wish I had 10k points <laughs> if you dig between single rows of dirt it's the most efficient way to dig since it shows you what's above and below you. Oh, what? Like, do, like, every other one, you mean? All right, we got scrap repair, combat repair. I think those are both crappy, right? So I'm probably going to shred the cobalt. Don't forget your water underground. Yeah. There's a tree you can grow if you find it. Which provides resources. That's how people get 10,000 points. I've seen that thing, and it, like, it's the tree that turns into the alien. You think both of them are good? You think both of these things are good? All right, automatically repair the dome once during combat. So you get one repair. Like what, one full repair? Like, I don't know, miss. And the scrapper. Repair your dome in a crude way using iron. Reduces overall structural health. I don't want to reduce overall structural health. That seems horrible. I'm taking the cobalt. I just don't. I just don't find those to be like. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not interested in those. Like maybe I'm wrong, but fuck the guys back already. God damn it. I wish I could get something to make these rounds last, the waves last longer. All right, there's, there's cobalt like somewhere here. Is it down? It is down. far away, huh? Please be three. It is three. Okay, that that was worth actually worth it then. Good. Uh oh man. I could, I could grab all these at the very least here. Uh there was another I can afford it. I mean, there's other things I want, but I'm gonna get the strength because they're like crushing my building here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the strength since I can. This is bad news.
there's that right there, but I guess I'll keep it on me. Let's see, I'm watching my prospecting meter. everything. It's too much. I'm, hand I'm holding too much. I need to be able to bring more shit back. And do like the weight thing. Need more gold. Yeah, right? I need more gold. And I haven't even gotten the uh, thing to tell me when the enemies are coming back yet, which I really super need. I think I'm gonna get that right now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do that. This thing. I need. I need that. I need this shit. That helps me a lot. Next thing is that. I need 24. Ugh. Get that. I need that resource management thing. I actually was able to shoot that. Fuck. There you go. 24. Gotta get 24. 14 more. about searching for gadgets right now. I'm worried about searching for gold, uh, iron. don't trust that that thing's gonna like automatically repair my dome. I feel like I'm gonna, I just always feel like I'm gonna die anyway. It's supposed to like automatically repair it, right? But like, I don't know. I'm scared of just like leave it. It's just like I always like pop out and like do it myself. So maybe I shouldn't even waste the one water molecule anyway. There was a bunch. Oh, there was more here. 
So I go straight down there and I get some. How much do I need? 24? I probably can't carry all this crap in here. I can't. It's too much. Fuck. And then I need that. Way too fucking slow. God help me. Look at it fell all the way down here. I can't. I, I have to I'm gonna have to get the carry strength, but first I want like the fucking I actually I might be able to up the uh, the laser power right now though, I think, so that's good. Better fucking be enough, come on. Alright, I at least got that. So the carry strength is not this right here. This 12, I need that. All right. I want, I, if I had that auto cannon. And I know I'm not like, it's like I'm not putting anything into the dam. Ooh, good. Die. You gotta book, man. You gotta, like, book it. I waste so much time, too, like, down here. I'm being, like, so far away. If I could ever, if I could really, like, figure out that... Teleportation, that thing that teleports stuff back. If I could ever do that. There was, I just saw, like, the cobalt thing, like, go off the first split second. Alright, I'm gonna get those, and I'm gonna get this, like, little, this object. There it is. That's all, that's all I'm gonna be able to do, probably. Well, to go for scores, you really want to unlock pro mode first. Oh yeah, how do I how do I unlock pro mode? I forgot that there's like the pro mode prestige thing. How do I do that? I totally forgot about that. Auto cannon, boom. That's good. One thousand points in endless for pro mode. Oh, so I have to do this. So if I get a thousand points, oh, so that's what I'm going for right now. Oh, I need a thousand points. Okay, well now I have a goal to work towards. Cool, it's, at least that's like a smaller goal to work towards. Good. I didn't realize that. Okay, so. Let me look at all this, so. I have 10. I need to get more, to get this, I need 12 for that. I have a few seconds here, I'll like... Look around here for a second. God. There's no time, there's no time to do this. Something would show up on my on my meter though. Instead of having to, I don't need to dig through through there though. If I have the prospecting, because somebody's like, oh, like the, because because it would show up on the prospecting meter if there was something in there. Is it, oh, never mind. I thought it was like in a different color area. Shit. 
Because I need, I need, I really need the drill to be down here. All right, that's all I can get. That sucked. Wow, this is like terrible. I'm, I need the speed. Shit. I'm gonna see if I can get speed next. Biggest flaw in the game is the field of vision. Hang on. Uh, uh, now I have enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do speed so I can get around these tunnels faster. the strength of my cannon even more. Why aren't you pro yet, Mike? I'm working on it, man. I want to badly. I just forget like what I was doing. What, what was I doing here? I get more? I guess I did, but it's like not as much as I was hoping, right? Is that what I got? <laughs> I don't even, I already forget what I got. Oh, I got speed. No wonder I can't carry more. All right, now I'm gonna get the carrying. That's gonna be next. I, I forgot. I get the speed thing, I guess. I mean, that speed's good, too. I was able to get down there faster because of that. I want the carry. Give me the carrying. Good. All right. And now... And I need to stay ahead on this stuff. So I have that. This thing sucks. This thing, I don't care. So it's like all I can... Auto cannon. What am I doing? Auto cannon. That's the next thing. These... Can I do either one? I can do, I can't. Next thing's gonna, okay, auto cannon is the next thing. At least I know. Remind me if I forget, auto cannon definitely is what I need. Of stuff into that auto cannon for sure because I'm like kind of like not surviving these waves too great. Or going off or anything like. 
we're trying to find something higher up. That would be good. Nothing's going off over there. Fuck. Alright. Go, 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 go. right now it's movement speed or whatever. Alright. So now my auto cannon's at least a little better. These this guy sucks. Damn it. Speed to go any faster on this thing? Like, jeez. All right, let's see. Um, I need to find more cobalt. What about this? Uh, this crap. I need. I need the range to be better. I want the range better on this so I can find this stuff quick, quicker. Maybe I don't want that range to be better actually. Because when it's like really far away, then it's almost like it's so far away, you, you don't even know which way to go. Come on, find something. I wasn't like finding any gadgets, like anyway, doing the whole. Oh, here. too far away like uh, uh, is it it's not sending me to that is it better not be dude i need, need to drill <sighs> this is wasting like, so much time I mean, like, not really. It'll help a little bit, but... Let's see. Um, I'm gonna do... What could I really do? I could do the auto cannon, make the auto cannon stronger. Uh, I could do... As far as this goes, what would I even do here anyway? Just, like, the speed thing, really. So... It's gonna be auto cannon and shield, and, the, and I need that. Oh, I could get the drill right now. Shit. I could find shit quicker if I get that. I'm gonna get the drill. so it's like a little bit better. Okay, good. Anything else around on the way back up? Find something else. Nothing. 
was hoping I'd like run into something. Run into something, run into something. There. Good. Oh, and there's three. Ha ha! Okay, that was awesome. Get back in time though. I'm carrying like a little bit too much shit. If I can get back with this load. God. Three of those is great though. Use the prospecting. I've been using it. That's all that's all I'm ever looking at. Okay. I could do the health. I could do all the health. Maybe I better do that. There's health. Uh, what do I really want to do? There's the there's speed. There's carrier strength. Maybe speed. Oh yeah, and then the, and then this shit. Well, I'll be able to finish that out pretty soon. Great. I don't want to like go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna go over here. Let's see if I can find anything else. Like like digging around these like edges. Maybe I can find something. Actually, I'm pretty close. Yeah, here, here. Nice. Great. Good. Perfect. I have to drop a couple things though. And I'll, I'll just like mine some of this crap. Oh, well, I'd be able to see something on the prospecting. Well, not water though. It just get some of the shit out of the way. Make my life easier. Get back up. Let's 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 do that. Let's keep ahead so I don't get like killed. I'm gonna do machine gun. I'm gonna do machine gun three. So I just did that. Let's do. I don't have the water to be able to do any. Of, I don't. Have, I can't do any of this because I don't have the water. So I'll pick up a bunch of water. So you know what? Uh, <laughs> if I could get that, if I could get two water, I could put it into that so I could find water. So I mean, I'll do that soon. <laughs> So, since I can't do that yet, uh, that's about all I can do at the moment, I think. shooting tennis balls. I would be able to see through that. 
the prospecting meter would tell me. Getting close to something. Oh, we gotta go back. Um, it's like what? Up. Back. Okay, there's that. Oh, it's only one. That was water. I needed water for something, right? Here, good. Are you winning, Mike? Um, I'm doing all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily know. I say winning, but I'm doing better than I was doing. I'm, ha I'm having like an okay run, so this will definitely be my last for today. And then we'll pick up tomorrow for a 20, 29. I'm, I'll be doing a 29-hour stream of Dome Keeper tomorrow. I swear to you guys, I will. I will move on to other games. I'm just like real into this at the moment. I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm like really like, oh my god, Dome Keeper. I'm probably gonna laugh at myself in like a year from now that I was like playing this so much. All right, um, let's heal that a little bit. You enjoy playing this, it's fun. All right, so I have everything for auto cannon. Oh yeah, I need that. I'm gonna get that so I can find more water like coming up. So. I am gonna get that. And what else can I do? I could do, I could do the movement speed up. I don't know if I wanna do that. Oh, here, the carry strength. I can get the carry strength right now. I'm gonna do that. That's good. And then the next thing, oh, I've had one more. The next thing, actually, the very next thing is gonna be these health things. That is the next thing. That's the, that is absolutely the next thing. Cannon got that guy. Pfft. I've never seen the auto cannon get that guy. It was awesome. Good job, auto cannon. Holy crap. So weird being in a position where you have to apologize for playing a game you're interested in. Um, it's just that people know me for retro games. And I know some people. Some people give me a hard time when I play like mo more modern stuff. Like, like it's just been a thing since I've been started streaming. Not everybody. I know, like a lot of you guys are like fine with like me playing this. I, I understand that. But you know, there's. I know there's some people that are like, why aren't you playing, you know, Mario Three again or whatever. Like, I have a lot of people that watch me. For the ret for like the retro the, for the real retro game content and that's great I love I love that but you know I like to play a variety of different games where is this damn thing I saw like a gold thing somewhere now it's not like popping up I don't know I'm gonna just forget it. sucked but I got enough to get a little bit of the health so at least I got I got one of the health and then if I get 10 I'll be able to get the next one all right
find something. Ooh, there's a little bit here. Get over to it. There's water somewhere over here. I need water. I need water. So where the hell is the water? Is it down? Yeah, it's down somewhere. I need. I need the stronger drill. I'll just try to get the water at least. Ooh, there's a thing. Okay, I'll get this. See what I get. Got some kind of little prize. I would like the resource converter. That's the thing I really need badly that I don't have. Lift and Drillbert. I've tried Drillbert before, and Drillbert just like goes to sleep. <laughs> it's like I don't know. Um, dog shit upgrades. I know, like I never do well with the lift. Like the lift, like barely brings crap back if it's like really upgraded but it's like I need to throw things like into the prestige thing so I don't know if I want to do that but improve Dil Drillbert should I try him do Drillbert and put a bunch of stuff into him like I don't know I kind of just want the cobalt I'm sorry these I'm just I want the resource converter I'm not doing the lift. I've done the lift before, and it's just, I don't think it's going to help me. I'm going to get, I'm grabbing the cobalt, because I, I know for a fact the cobalt will help me at least a little bit. So, it's just going to, it's just going to be how it is. Is that supposed to be like Dilbert? I don't know. Maybe. I took too long, I took too long, I took too long. 
Well, the auto cannon's up there at least. And I got, I got a lot of stuff. All right, oh God, hold up. Let me do this. Okay. I'll just wait. Maybe I can. I'm gonna wait until that finishes. I have ten. What else could I? Is there anything else I can do? The shielding. I could put something. In. I'll do the shielding. That'll help a little bit. Auto cannon is already done. Um, oh yeah. Oh, like there's like a, all the electro blast stuff and all this. Oh, I could do reflect. I'll do reflection. Oh, I can't. Shit. All right. So that might be as much as I can do. For now. So he goes into the... They're like kicking my ass here. Um, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need, you know, what I need is a damn stun laser because I'm not, I'm able to stun them. That's kind of screwing me right now that I don't have that. If I had a fully upgraded stun on top of everything I had, like I'd be doing pretty all right. But I guess the next thing I'll be like putting money into all this shit. Um, because that's basically all I can do at this point. So. Mm. Boy. I'm in trouble. If Mike wants to do 200 streams of this, you're really going to watch 10 of them? <laughs> There's not. It's not going to be 200 streams, man. You do not have to worry. just be like 100 and 199 Here, let this way. Ooh, that thing I just got the Superman thing all right it's down in the purple area Shit. that's good where's the gold down able to bring back a lot right there okay um what was it i wanted to do so now that i have i'll have more stuff um i could put a, bun a bunch of stuff in the shield it's like i didn't get the stun laser which is what i really, really want I'm trying to think what's like the wisest thing for me to do right now is the wisest thing for me to do is put all my money into prestige <laughs> like seriously because i haven't even been doing that that's the only way i'm gonna get points um I, like, I could finish out the shield. I don't know. Oh, yeah, reflection. An active... All right, I'll do reflection. I'll do all the reflection. Oh, I can't do all the reflection, but I did a little bit of the reflection. Can I get... I can't get that either. 
Let me get this. I could get overcharge shield. I did overcharge shield. And I could do overcharge shield strength one. I have to like protect myself so I don't just die right here, you know? Multiplayer. I wonder how the multiplayer will, will actually work. It'd be nice to have somebody down here just like working on the the mine shaft while you know have somebody always like working down in the mine. Somebody's got to be working the shaft, you know? I can't be doing all the work. that it makes that line. I'm going to have to just forego those couple things. <sighs> but yeah, like somebody was like clearing out some more of that shaft. Working the shaft. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm going to wait for that stuff to go through so I can like purchase something. Spit and shine that shaft. Who wants to be the one that spits and shines on the shaft? Look at that firing rate. Alright, so 17, 9, and 9. What could we do? Well, I could get the last speed. That's one thing. Uh, but what else? Uh, I could get, oh, I could get this reflection. The reflection is supposedly good, right? Supposedly reflection's good. I guess I'm gonna get it. Can't hurt. Um, beyond that, I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit. This might be stupid, but I'm gonna put a little bit into this. I have to or else I'm never going to get anywhere. So I put a little bit into that. I, I, you would know if, if, if I was drunk, I would be like, Ugh. I wouldn't even be able to speak. <laughs> that sounded like Rocky. If I was drunk, I'd be like, It would be like that.
I know this became a mess. I was doing this very like orderly earlier, and it's like I gotta. I'd, I'd like to go back to that, but this has become such a mess. But I mean, hey, I'm still like alive, right? So whatever. Screw the method. But this is not how you want your tunnels to be. I know. Trust me, I know. This is a mess. I'm like trying to clear this up. Have you seen my movie? Overcharge bat. Overcharging your shield will also prolong any shield bat battle ability used in the next wave. I don't understand that. I don't get that. Is that the thing where I hit the X button? Is that the X button thing? <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? Like, I don't get what that is. Prolong any shield battle ability. And, like, what does that mean exactly? You already have the X button. Oh, I do? Okay. That, that only works if you use up a water. You finally stop caring about politics. Dude, like, this is not a place to talk about politics or care about... We, we don't care. I don't care about politics at all. One way or the other, I don't give a shit about it. You don't have to talk about that here. This is about, like, video games and shit. Like, don't, just don't worry about it. It's not the place for it. You must vent. Vent, vent that somewhere else, though. Like, the, talk, you know, this is talk about, like, video games and stuff. You want to talk about, like, you're, you're talking about all this stuff that, like, none of us talk about the stuff you're talking about. Like... If you want to talk about this, go to somebody else's stream and talk about that. It's just not, you know, we talk about, like, Pac-Man and stuff. You're not going to get any responses out of people here. We're, 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 this is, like, a retro game, like, stream. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, a dick or something. It's just, like, this is, you're not going to get the discussions you're looking to have in this stream. You should go to a different stream where people talk about that kind of thing. Because it's not here. You're drunk, though. Well, <laughs> what, seriously, that's your excuse for doing it? That Fine, that makes sense. If you want to do that, like, try to do that somewhere else where somebody, you, maybe you'll get a response out of somebody on those things somewhere else. But, like, no, do you have, like nobody's really, you know, talking to you about it. So just, like, don't worry about it. You're sorry. No, it's fine. Just, like... Like, I'm trying to help you, because it's like, I can tell that you, like, want a response on that kind of stuff. I, like, I'm not going to talk about any of that. I never talk about that any of that stuff. I don't care about it. Like, I'm not a political person at all, like, ever. But if you want to talk about, like, uh, crystal castles or something. <laughs> if you want to talk about, uh, like, Super Mario Brothers 3, something like that, or Street Fighter 20. If you want to talk about, like, Nintendo or Sega or something, that'd be great. But, like, that, that, like I'm not... I'm just, like, trying... I'm just letting you know. Because you, you're, you're wasting your time. And I don't want you to waste your time. All right, so the next thing I want to do is get, I can get the speed, oh, I can get the drill. The drill or the speed? Shit. I'll do the speed. Speed can't hurt. Shit. Um, also, okay. Somebody says, Sega forever. <laughs> right. Sega forever! 
you know, what if I would have went to the other side? I could have got the, uh, I shouldn't have went to this side. I could have got that Superman thing that I didn't, I haven't seen in a while. I'm gonna go get it. Maybe I can get it quick. If I can find it. I know it's in this reddish area somewhere. Shit. Where's that Superman thing? Now I'm never gonna find it. There it is, right there. Oh, I did find it. All right. I call it the Superman thing. I don't know what to call it. I should be getting that more often. Hey, there's a bunch of stuff over here, apparently. Up or down? Right here. Sweet. Okay, that's a couple things. Shit. Maybe I should increase the range on that, uh... Something, is it this way? No, down. Down. Here, boom. Okay, okay that's good. Uh, where now, where now, where now? Shit, don't do that to me. Crap, oh, I gotta go back already? Crap. Well, hey, at least I got some cobalt. Wasn't totally for nothing, but it wasn't great. Stop getting caught on things. Ugh. You got no gold there. Iron, whatever. Kill this guy, come on. All right, get on the other side, other side. This way? The hell is it? Ooh. I mean, that's cobalt in another way, but there should be a cobalt thing. Where is it? It's like I'm getting further away from it. It's like it was higher up or something. There was one. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. The fucking one. I'm having trouble finding iron now. I guess I better increase the range. I'm gonna try increasing the range on the. Uh, I don't even. I don't even have the fucking iron to, to, to increase the range, even if I wanted to. Shit. Dude, I'm like way too far away. Oh God.
might need gold. Mushroom 3D, thanks for a sub. Everybody subbing tonight. Thank you for the subs. Yeah, really, thank you, appreciate it. Subbing left and right. <laughs> Cause everybody's subbing tonight. Okay, there's gold somewhere. Not that way. This way? Nope, it's further down, huh? God. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Shit. Had gold vein over in this area. Yeah. Looks like there's a blue vein too. I'm like down in this long shaft and there's like the there's you know the water. There's like this blue vein. I have to go. Fuck. Barely got anything. But at least we found some for a minute from now. God, if I can find my way back here later. Oh, great. And then I just... Oh, man. And then there's that. Shit. I should have grabbed it. Well, I know where I got to go. I got three. I know where I got to go next time. There's a bunch of stuff that down there that I need. Barely was able to get anything. <sighs> Sucked. Hope I even make it through this. enough to increase the drill. I'll, 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 I'll probably take the drill if I can do the drill. If I if I get 20 right now. I'm not going to get 20, am I? No, I didn't. So instead of that, I guess I'll take something else. I'll take something else. I could take that shield. Oh, didn't I say I was going to do... I was going to increase the range of this. I keep saying I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to increase the range of that. So maybe I can find gold easier with that. And I can get this. I can get the strength on that. I'll do the strength on that. So there you go. That, those were my decisions.
bad. I'm going back. Where was I going again? It's basically like I'm doing this like off to the left thing, right? Like I don't even really know where I should be going, to be honest with you. Seems like going in this general direction is working out, kind of. At least when I go this way, I, sometimes I get that Superman thing. Oh, shit. Alright, so let's say. Alright, there's water around here. Somewhere. Okay. Now I want gold. <clears throat> I'm still calling it gold, by the way. It's like. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. I just got further away down. Oh, dude, the drill. Okay, got it. It's just taking too long to drill it out. You'll make a ROM hack of this game that renames it to gold, please. Come on. All right, I have to get the drill. It's probably all I can get. Oh, shit. Don't have a choice. To grab those on the way back. because of the drill problem. So how many do I need for the next drill? I need 20. I need 20. It's like not much I can do. I know I'm going for that drill next, so I tell you what. Like, I could die here, you know? So I'm going to, like, I'm going to put some more into that. Oh, it's like that's all it's letting me do there right now. Okay. Put one into that. Oh, let me do two. Oh, it has to be six. I have to put, I have to have six to put into that, I see. So, all right. Yo, auto cannon, what are you doing? Oh God, oh boy. more left? Shit. That sucks. I didn't have that. I didn't have any more of those like chargers left. This thing isn't back. Oh, it just came back. Ha ha. Yay. There's a couple golds over there. I'm going to grab them while I can. Fuck. That kind of shit is fucking me. Okay, there's gold somewhere. Am I getting closer or further away? Like, where? What's happening? That's further away. It's gotta be down. Come on. Come on. I need this fucking drill so fucking bad. 
here. Come on. Drill this shit out. How much are they gonna rip, pull off of me before I get back there? Uh, fuck. Oh, was that enough for the drill? Probably not. Let's see. It's gonna be like 16 or something, 17. 14, not even. Great, just great. There was like gold down here somewhere, right? Wait, I'm gonna pause it. Where was the gold? Was it in the red area? I don't remember where that gold was I was getting. Left. They're, saying, they're all saying left. Left, all right, thanks. Shit. Mostly down. You saw some to the right. You went too far left, I did, shit. now, like up from here, from where I am right now. Fuck, 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 fuck. God. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, found it. I'm gonna get back with all of this. amount of gold. This might actually get me something. I think I'll get that drill now. At the very least. Alright, I think that's going to be enough. Maybe I can even get something else, too. Okay, I got the drill. Thank you, God. Now, uh, what else could I do? Is there, is there anything else I could do? Let's see. I could get... What is this over here? Overcharged shield strength, too? I mean, that's for the battles, right? So maybe that... Is there even anything else I could do? Okay, there's like the next drill. That's like about it. All right, I'm gonna get that. There's like there's like these, which I don't know. Are these these ones? Nobody seems to be like yelling at me to grab those ones. I don't know how good they are, but do you need to charge your shield with the water? Yeah, I don't. I know there's like the, the machine next to the thing, so I don't I don't get that thing. There's the machine, so look, there's this there's this machine over here. I don't get it. I don't get what it does. I've put water into it and charged it before, but what is it doing? But you never charge the shield. But I don't understand what that it, it means. I when I'm in the battles, I hit the button and the shield goes off. So what do you mean charge it? Like it doubles the shield one battle. They just a shield. Somebody says shield. What like what about the shield? Explain it better, because it's you're, like shield is not does not help. It makes your shield a bit more powerful, I think. Okay, that's what they're saying. So it makes. So like when I activate my shield with the X, it makes that shield more powerful? Is that what it is? Like, 
You go left and hit the button, and it uses water. Yeah, why? For what, though? I understand that. I put water into it, and then it does what? Like, I'm still not... Your dome takes less damage than for that wave. So it protects the dome more during the battle. On the left side of the dome is shield generator. You can overcharge it with one water. So basically it makes the shield stronger in that one battle. Okay. I'll, I'll do it then. It's like, so when this gets more difficult, basically start putting the water in so you can survive the matches. That's what it means. See, I never like understood it. One per battle, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. this like red area so that I can get um, the Superman thing. Oh, it's not back. Fuck me. Alright, let's keep an eye on these uh, whatever it's called. The prospecting. I'm looking for more gold again. Or anything. Alright, there's water. Yeah, this. Here, fuck it. Blow it up right now. Oh, oh fuck. Yes. Oh, man. Dude, suck my fucking fat dick. Alright, I'm not even gonna have the time to fucking... Well, I'll come back down here. I'm going to need the next fucking drill. Shit. All right. Well, so down into the blue area. There's a bunch, but it's, like, hard to mine because I need the better drill. Still need the next drill. Okay. I guess I'll put another water in. So, oh, I don't even have any. Or, yeah, I do. It's like not doing it. I don't know. It's not letting me do it. Maybe it costs more than one now. I don't fucking know. So I need 30 for that next drill. Well, that's the next thing I'll be doing. Uh, it's like, it's like nothing more I can even do. Oh, I can do that. Are these things any good? These overcharged battle ability duration things? Like... I can put in more of this, but I need 30 for the next drill, so it's like I kind of can't. So. Get that. Uh, so. Oh, maybe I hit the wrong button. Here. Here's what I think. I think I'm gonna die right here. So I'm gonna do this. Pretty sure I'm dead. Or can you not do it on like the last round because like you have to do it earlier or something? I don't know. I 
wonder if I had to do it earlier. Five thirty-one. Your new personal OS. And I have to get to a thousand. I mean, it was better. I did better than I did before, at least. So, like, did I have to put in all that stuff earlier? Because I didn't. Did it have to go like one more wave for it to count all that shit that I just put in? I think I, ha I think I had to survive that round for it to count it. You think it works? I don't know. Like when I just like spent it all at the end. Yes, it's after the battle. Like me, honestly, if I wouldn't have spent that, I could have put the um, cobalt and repaired the shield. And I actually might have survived that. But I kind of, I kind of was like, oh, I might like die. I didn't know if I was gonna like die or not. So I don't know. You could have healed a ton, lol. Yeah, I might have probably could have, but I don't know. I kind of felt like there was a million monsters coming, and I was getting worried, so I was like, oh, I might just die, so I don't know. I'll have to try it again another time. I feel like, so, I mean, that'll be my next thing I'll want to do with this game is try to, at least I know what I'm trying to do now, though, is, like, get the thousand points to unlock the pro mode. And then, if let's say I do unlock pro mode, do you get, um... Do you get more points if it's on pro mode or something? Well, good attempt. I mean, uh, you can't win them all. Like, <laughs> whatever. Getting better at it, though. I mean, it's it's tough. It's a hard game. Yeah, pro mode lets you set the order of the gadgets in the caves. Oh, whoa. It does it? Then I could always start with, like, the, good, the stuff I need? No wonder these people get a bazillion points. Because if I can set that, then I get I get the uh, prospecting and I get the resource thing. Oh, well, that's... No wonder they're doing so well. If you could set the really good gadgets to be, like, the first gadgets you find... Dude, I've never been able to do that. No wonder they're getting a bazillion points. Well, that makes more sense now. You still need a ton of experience to get above 100K. I'm sure, but like, you know, you see how I'm getting like 500 fucking points and stuff like that? It's like, well, geez, if I got the really good gadgets from the beginning because I could set them, then yeah, I'd be, get, I'd be doing better. Pfft, I didn't know that. You notice there's all you. You notice there's also you ask for it mode. I played it earlier and I and I beat one of them. That was that was the one thing I did well today on this on this stream. I did uh, so yeah. You want to see that real quick? I'm not gonna like play it, but I'll, I'll just show you. So in the in the regular game when you're on like relic hunt, you can go to uh, you can go so. It's normal. There, notice there's no easy, because nothing about this game is easy. So you can go normal, hard, brutal, or you ask for it, which is the hardest thing. So earlier I did you ask for it, and I think the small map. Um, it would be like another challenge to try to do like you you ask for it and beat like the the bigger maps. Like I haven't done that. Um, also, you know what I wonder? Let's say you beat you ask for it on huge, but. And let's say I just started the run right there. Um, let's say I beat it. Would I get a different reward than if I did you ask for it huge and put on a bunch of, let, let's say I put on a bunch of these because this makes it easier. So let's say I beat it on you ask for it huge like that. Would you get a different reward of some type? And even, are there even any rewards left to, to even get like, what if I beat you ass for it huge? Like, what do you what do you get for that? Like, what is the purpose of even playing this mode anymore now that I've unlocked, like, now that I've unlocked, uh, like, the prestige stuff? It just seems like at this point, the whole game is all about the prestige now because you want to be on the leaderboard. So I don't even know why you play the relic mode anymore. Like, do you, you know, is, do, can, is there any reason to play like relic anymore 
we've exhausted your knowledge of the game. Yeah. Well, anyway, maybe that'll be a question for somebody that knows more about this game to answer. Uh, when you watch this on YouTube. Hi, YouTube people. Anyway, that's uh, my look at Dome Keeper. Eventually, this game is going to come out and have... Uh, it's going to have multiplayer. And if you're an expert on this game and you know more about this game and, like, if there's more of a point for me to even do Relic Hunt or if you have any tips on prestige, let me know. Thanks for watching. That's Dome Keeper. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subs tonight. Bye, guys. Bye, Twitch chat. Bye. See you next time.